Intro, 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 intro. Intro. Go on then, sweetheart. That was it. You're that a child. It. That was my intro. You're an uh, absolute what? child. That was my intro. Amazing. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was. Oh, look. Maybe you should have a chat. Mm. Uh, where is it? What? Should we should have a chat. Yeah, you should have a chat. Oh, yeah. I can see it now. Um. Okay, boys and girls, welcome, welcome to Pixel Slash. <laughs> oh, it's so cringy. Laughing. What? Well, I know. I, just, I, I, I cringe really hard when I when I get excited. It's like a defense mechanism. Ah, okay. Okay, defense mechanism. <laughs> okay, you don't need to defend yourself from me. I'm not attacking you yet. I feel like I'm gonna, but, gonna get attacked um... by this chat. This. This chat I've like in infiltrated all this nice oh, community. Oh no 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 no! Today it's like it's okay because I get attacked for not saying the price when there's 115 people here. That's when I get attacked. But it's fine. It's you fine. Look look look. You're so here. close. I'm, like 140. Just... On it about 142 or something. No, I think the record here was 114, 115. I'm not sure. You just What's kept teasing it. You kept you kept moving those goalposts. It's like okay, 100 likes in here now. 150 likes here. <laughs> no one's ever Look, gonna know. I can I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. Levitate. Whatever I want. I can levitate. levitate. Wait, that's give too, VR that's, into it. That, that, that's that's too boring. Levitating is too boring. Oh, okay, why my microphone is so loud? I can do it like this. Oh, okay. It's lovely. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know I'm lovely. Well, okay. really sweet then. We are here today. And let me first explain. So this is a special episode of Pixel Slaves. Thank you guys for being with us. We decided to do it with community. Normally it's us two and the guest. Let's do plebs random. But today it's us two and all of you together. So how will it be happening uh, in this episode? We'll be inviting you to speak. So whoever wants to speak, raise your hand or keep raising the hand and we'll just invite you to uh, the master of the disaster. Okay, we'll be inviting you to the <laughs> stage, uh -huh. and you will be speaking with us. Ideally, ideally, please, your microphone and the video camera. Put on camera. Put it on. So we get can your face out. You. We want to see now. Yeah, put you. we want it, to see you because we'll put and slap your face into the podcast, and you will become famous. And God knows what will happen to you. But anyway, we're here today. We have lots of news to discuss. Not only. By the way, in VR, we can go any direction we want. Yeah, it, there's no rules. cars to <laughs> smartwatch to VR, XR, whatever. Right? Yeah. Showed up. Yeah. yeah. How are you? How how have you been? I'm all right, mate. What have? What? I've been I've been doing some the old testing on the new 3.0. Um, Ooh. Eating lots of food. Yes. Yes. Lots uh -huh, of things uh -huh. happening there. I can't say anything because you'll tell me off. You'll tell me off. You'll give me a big old slap around my pretty face. Oh yeah. Virtually, of course, because if he touches me, I'll eat, I'll eat, I won't. <laughs> no, nothing really. Just playing lots of nothing games. Really? Okay. Lots of games. Um, what, yeah. what, are, what are you playing? What are you playing? Tell, tell me. What, what are you are playing? playing? Do you really want to know? No, uh, I suspect I don't, but I, I already asked, so tell us. Uh, Ancient Dungeon, After the Fall, VR chat, a lot of VR chat. A lot of VR chat. What, 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 do, you, what do you do in VR chat? What, just, what, what have you done there? I just dick about, if I'm honest with you. You just think about? Yeah. Okay. All so right. it's there for, isn't it? It's nothing really serious. Anything particular this week? Any new world you discovered? Anything interesting? Uh, no, there's a, there's a couple of like really cool chill worlds I found, but I can't remember the names, but they're on an island and they're blue and purple. And that's pretty much all I can remember. Oh, yeah, I think I've yeah. seen that. Um, what about all righty. You? All righty. Tell me your life story. I, My life story. Mm. In a nutshell, in the last two in years. It's between VR1 and Somnu 3.0. Um, of course, family and kids and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, lots of stuff with VR1. It's accelerating and it's moving. Uh, we are preparing, of course, for the visit of the YouTubers uh, to our offices in Prague <clears throat> for us to showcase them uh, VR1. Have you got like, uh, a, like a, a special side room? They're just gonna go. Come here, YouTubers. Follow me no, we'll into give, the we'll dark them, we'll pit of of what's it called? Um, <laughs> oh, I the Once word. upon a time, there was a we are room. No, no, no. We'll. Uh, oh, the pit we'll, of bribery. We'll, we'll... Come here. Come say nice things about my headset. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> like with the gun. Like, hey, you can say whatever you want. 
but you have to say it's nice. Uh, no, no, no. So we'll we'll invite them to the office. We'll give them a tour. Um, we'll uh, we'll show. We'll let them introduce you know to the to the team, to the engineering team. We'll show them uh, two versions of the VR headset. One fully loaded, um, and one will be uh, full beans. With the eye tracking. One, one will be the base, base VR with eye tracking. And uh, we'll show them different straps and, and stuff. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, uh, yeah, Sebastian is invited. We're waiting his confirmation um, if, if he'll come. Uh, so we will be we'll be showcasing several uh, several games. Uh, so basically, we'll be like VR VR demo. Um, then we'll get we'll give them a mixed reality demo in the cockpit. Of an airplane, direct like physical one-to-one -one replica of the fighter jet. Oh, so you can show off the pass-through. Um, correct. They'll be they'll be looking at the pass-through, oh. um, some hand tracking and stuff, and uh, we'll have some food, of course, um, and we'll whoa, have whoa, some whoa, ability whoa. to talk. What kind of food are we talking? <clears throat> <laughs> uh, Is it we'll Mackey's? Have food. We'll have food three times. Three times. Three times. Uh, three times. It's not enough. Yeah. Food. So can, can you tell? <laughs> now you now you regret it. We are not that popular YouTubers. Huh? So I, I I don't invite you to uh, to come and tell. But one day you will come. No. Uh, but anyway, so that's 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 the and there will be like lots of in between. We'll again we'll give them the tour of the offices and the facilities and um, I'll give them a bit of an overview of what we have been working on. Uh, they'll have a chance to talk to me one on one. Uh, maybe record something depending on how it will go. Um, so pretty you know pretty open and easy going uh, uh uh easy 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 going stuff so uh yeah that's 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 the plan and uh yeah other than that really lots of work lots of work um some preparations for some private demos for cs uh some back and forth with some other youtubers uh because we're waiting some confirmations from their side from some others so we have already three or four four confirmed uh, and we're probably waiting for two more. Um, but yeah, that's that will be a great showcase of what we have been working on. Obviously, some things we're still working on. We have until now, till production, like two and a half months, no more. Uh, three months almost uh, until the mass production starts. And in the last three months, we can, you know, we're tweaking things. And we are curious about their feedback as well of the YouTubers. I can say, because, um, you nervous. know, we'll... we'll, we'll Little bit. Me? Yeah. I mean, I'm. It's it's. You know, for me, it's more about. Because you, you know, know the, the, the two years. Yeah, yeah. The two years. I mean, it's not only me loving it. I mean, we have quite a vast uh, range Maric of people who it, were testing it. But I don't trust Marek. Yeah. He's, he's too tall. Yeah, but he did. He didn't try the last version yet. Uh, <laughs> but I've. You know, I I know from from you know from from, from the testing in the office and and how people react on it. It's good. It's good headset. Um, the only question to me is, you know, how because every YouTuber has the, their own perception of what's good for them and what's yeah. not, and it, it's just interesting to see. But the good news is, whatever the feedback is, and I'm sure people will love the visuals and stuff. But whatever the feedback is, we can take that on, and we can still tweak some things um, until until the release because we have that we have that window of several months to to do that. Uh, but other than that, it's I'm I cannot wait to actually show it to them. That's my first feeling. I cannot wait to show it to them because we worked on it so hard. Um, is uh, it possible that the other guy can raise yeah, his I've, mic? Yeah, I've turned me up. Apparently, I'm too quiet. I'm not quiet oh, now. You're going to regret saying that because my voice loud. is I awful. <laughs> <laughs> so hello, it's too loud. Shoulder. I'm hello. I'm just I'm the pleb in this. I'm, I'm comic relief. Okay, okay. Raccoon wants to speak. <laughs> if Raccoon wants oh, to speak, we'll always in. let him Just speak. Just come in. Everyone come in. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. Hello. Hey, hello. Hi. Archie, hello. What about webcam? Video cam? Come on. We want to see do, you. I do come have... On, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's do, let's do. I love how you're just bullying people. Get your camera out. <laughs> I'm not... Bu I'm a nice guy. Get Am I a nice guy? What? Yeah, you too Don't nice. listen to him. This mm. is... I'm... Camera shy. Yes! Yeah. Hello. Damn. You see me? If I wouldn't insist, we would not see this beauty. Come on, Shota. Welcome you in. need to insist sometimes. Hello, hello, Archie. Wait, you, yeah. you are Archie. Is your name Arthur or what? Are we? 
<laughs> no. But we, we no. Can't, we can't Archie's have one like Oscar. Archie's like a nickname, <laughs> like real old nickname of mine. And I'm a friend of mine calls me that. What VR headsets do you, you use? You both have professional cameras turned on. I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> well, I have, I have I don't say professional I camera. Have. It'll set him off because he's just using an iPhone right now. <laughs> Look at his smug face. <laughs> Pro- good, did someone though. say my yeah, camera I mean, looks professional? Is it? Is it? <laughs> I'm professional. Look, you can be professional, but in the end of the day, it's efficiency. I just press you need the button. Need to be efficient, okay? Well, I say that. I and I'm just, I just look plug my, my microphone phone. on the Vive Pro. Look at this. It's See, really look, oh. look at look at all it's the effort tape. people have got to do just to get the microphone sounding great on the Vive. Yeah. It, it, it sounds horrible. Is that, sorry, is that, what are you doing? Is it a Vive Pro? HTC? Vive Pro Two. Yeah, it's Vive. It Pro. is. It is. Oh no! Yeah. What a terrible it's headset. A normal one. I'm sorry. Uh, Vive Pro, no eye tracking. First version. It's all right. Okay. I have no idea what they're doing with the microphones. It's it doesn't sound good on the Vive Pro Two. It doesn't sound good on the Elite XR. I think I think Meta. I think Meta. I think Meta bought all the rest of the microphones which HTC had in stock yeah. from uh, from Vibes, and they put them in Quest Three. They get That's a good my deal theory. on that, didn't they? Got like half. One hundred percent good deal. Or cost plus bought all the rest. Quest, Quest microphone isn't the best either. So. No. Hey, Artific, no. MacGyver approved. Come on. You have to you have to join the stage. Are you ready? So is it, this, is just, this is going to be completely random. It's just we're just rant. You know, we're not you know just rambling, rants and all that. Wait, no, Let's go with not not. I okay for you it's <laughs> random. For me I'm professional. I'm the I'm, random. I have prepared. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Artific. Oh, your microphone yeah, yeah, yeah. is wrong, Artific. No, wrong microphone, Artific. Something is really bad. Uh, you have to no, say, no, microphone no. is bad, 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 bad. Oh my gosh, is what's happening? Is this the same Artific that it's absolutely so owned my ass on um, oh, a yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's it's the same Artific. Yeah. I don't want to speak yeah. to you because you sniped yeah, at me from like 500 mute, meters away. Mute, mute. What? Is it still wrong? Or yeah, it's really bad, yeah. It's you're like you're far away, you're far away. It's like it's echoey and you're far away. <laughs> That's weird. You sound just like an iPhone. Are you using an okay. iPhone? I don't know. I just no, muted you. I just muted your artifact. You have to unmute yourself if you want to. Uh, okay. Testing. Testing. What did I do? I just... <laughs> oh my you. god. Artific, I muted you. I muted you. I muted you. Well, you know, you <laughs> muted him for yourself, not, not everyone else. So it's just for you. Ah, just for my... Just for you. Okay. What Come about on, now? Granddad. Say something. Say Come something. Is it working? Is it working? <laughs> granddad? Ah, oh, you're a tech what? wizard. What? You should know these things. What? I want to know what people, what, what, what headsets people are using. Is yeah. it working? Okay, Ardivi, you need, you need, to, you need some. We, we cannot put this quality of audio on the podcast. We're oh gonna... my god! Yeah, don't, don't people worry. will not Let listen me, to us. Please. Don't worry, Arthur. I'll cannot... cut, I'll cut yours out. You'll be fine. I mean, not oh, everyone yeah. has these kind of microphones, you know. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, so as I said. We're very professional, so I've been preparing some uh, topics to speak um, about. Are you, are you and, just turning uh, we and can pretending? Just... Let me look at my uh, monitor. Uh... Yes. <laughs> what you got? Um, uh, okay, so I think the first topic we could discuss... Um, there are several big topics this week. So, for example, HTC has launched Inside Out Vive Ultimate Trackers. For two hundred dollars, mm. and the big bummer was we all were. I'm on the waiting list. I want to get those trackers, and I was like, "Yes, come on, standalone trackers, bam, bam. That should be good. Probably not as good as Lighthouse trackers, but still good." And then we find out that it only works with the Vive headsets, and you need to have dongles, and it's not SteamVR compatible yet. And I was like, "How do you? Why? Why do you launch it like this? Like, why do you it do it yourself? Last, it? Come on." It feels hard. Yeah, but like, look, at least it's one dongle, not for each tracker separate dongle. At least it's true, one true, device. true. But, 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 come on, it needs to work with everything. It cannot be just five headsets because then five people will buy them and that's it. About, so, with the it's for the XR Elite, isn't it? That's what I'm marketing it for at the minute. You get a dongle. Yes. Does the does the XR Elite have that dongle built into? Do you need the dongle in the XR Elite? You have to get like a USB to you have Type to put A. It in, yeah. uh, let's check. Because I have check it, it. Is there a USB cable in there? What? Is it Type C? I don't know what type, I don't know what connection it is. Here it's not. 
just there feels weird not... you have to plug a dongle in for a it's, self track tracker it's here it's it's here on the back but i'm not sure if it's working as the usb port for the whole headset or it's just the battery connection for the charging of the battery behind feels i like have a battery connection yeah but if it's not, it's a battery connection i don't know where you put the dongle oh what? you found it is it there it's here does it say dongle but but, but you you put the cushion in and then the USB-C is covered. How do you put it? Oh, wait. No. Oh, my God. It's epic fail. Okay, I'm sorry. So <laughs> here is the headset. Here is the headset. Where we're talking about. Okay. Here's the headset, okay? Yeah. And here, right next to it, partly covered by this thing is the USB-C connection. So, oh, so you must put that tunnel okay. needs to be super thin to fit in. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure about I wonder the next gen of headsets will have that built in. So you might have to have a dongle. It just it just connects. That would be ideal. But I'll have a VR1 bot by then, so I won't care. Okay, All my headsets are going to go in the bin. Exactly. Very nice it to it, I bet okay. I will. More Is Hello. it working now? Or is it bad? Still bad. Pretty bad. No. It's bad. Okay. Oh. Weird. Do you have anything to hold? Like, can you, can you, can you just use your Pico as the microphone, please? Because that will <laughs> sound better. It does that. Just wire the microphone to Pico, okay? Perfect. All right. Um... What if every one of us takes a X Xbox, like old Xbox controller, and we all record with like the shitty? Oh, the Xbox, <laughs> the Xbox Live Chat. With... Oh <laughs> no, you give me flashbacks. So... <laughs> oh, I hate Call of Duty lobbies. Although it did give me. Hair on my chest. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> so, soon... would you would you buy the HTC trackers? Me. I mean, if they work only with the Vive headsets, then... but I mean, I saw the tracking and it's worse than Lighthouse, and that's basically it. Can I be, like, can I be you... savage just for five seconds? What what are they? Who are they for? Is it for people it... who? I understand you can use them anywhere, but no one's going outside strapping trackers on. You know what I mean? Unless you're going around a friend's house. The only thing I can think of is yeah. going like a friend's house. Look at me, in in my trackers. I, I don't know about you. I mean, I guess it's for. Uh, I think it's for standalone people who want to have a standalone experience and want to kind of like go to VR chat and stand alone and have full body tracking. But then you can only do it in HTC headsets, which yeah. limits your, like, shrinks your, uh community to very very low amount of people yes, I mean, uh, everyone, everyone I know oh that dongle the dongle is big i just look i'm just looking at the picture it's huge picture so Boop. yeah it's all right picture there i think they had on their website like a text saying that next week approximately it will be tested for steam vr like not only on hopefully the, that's the that's the hope it. that's the hope they if need, that works then they need to get a quest makes if that's I know, I know, I don't like Quest. Don't like Meta, but if they want to, they need to make it work on the Quest because that's the biggest standalone platform in it. Come on, HTC, come on, have my free advice from a pleb. Yeah, I mean, my general take on HTC is that they do, they do, really. Unfortunately, by the way, I'm 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 rooting for HTC because you know everybody loved first Vive. It was a good headset for that time, but. Unfortunately, the headsets game of HTC is, yeah, but the peripherals, what they do, uh, trackers, oh, you know, uh, face tracking stuff. Exactly, they they are great. They're great products. They do really good quality stuff. So I'm rooting for them to make it work. You know, let make it work, and then people will use it. People will be happy to use it. Okay, yeah. Artific, what's your microphone situation there? Okay, now it's quiet. So it's better than before because we don't hear you. <laughs> But uh, but it's still not I was perfect using the because index we can't. Mic. We, we, we... Oh, that's, this is gonna sound fabulous. Oh, still can't hear you. I think I, it's, I yeah, think with the index yeah. you have to turn Steam VR for it to turn the mic on. I think. Oh yeah, well, use Valve Index, man. You have Index. Yeah, you use Valve Index. To no, we don't hear you. But you need to. You need Steam VR on. Yeah, put yeah. Steam VR on, and then change in Discord the the uh, the the microphone. Anyone else wants to join us, by the way, to co-host this first and weird, weird kind of epic community episode, episode, community episode. Archer, you mentioned, I think, in the future, you may have a wireless dongle option for VR1. Presume this would have to be part of the battery pack. Have you any approximate estimation for this? For example, one year after VR1? 
maybe one year after VR1. I mean, that's, um, as I said, we need to first launch. We need to make sure that everything went well, um, upscale the production, and then we will be, uh, we will be uh, concentrating on other things. Uh... Dongle. I like a dongle. Oh, dongle. Hey. Oh, now you sound professional. Hello. Hey, nice, nice. I'm professional nice. with this microphone. <laughs> yes, very <laughs> good. Actually the, uh, good. World yeah. premiere. It's world premiere. Exactly. <laughs> you're, 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 <laughs> you're professional. Okay, okay. So we discussed HTC trackers. Um, I mean, I'm a fan of 3.0 trackers generally. Lighthouse. I'm a Lighthouse fan. And I will continue I'm a to big use fan that of Lighthouse. The Wii Tundras. They're so small. Is it Tundra? Is it so Tundra? So chongus, small. The big chongus. Big chongus, yeah. Shut up. They're all good. Yeah, I don't know if you consulted with your wife, but size doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, I'm a midget, so I would agree. I have, I have a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> Mine lasts. Um, battery lasts a lot longer. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, we have no. another another news of this week. Okay, I'm 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 sliding down from one to another. So we have two two uh, probably big news for um for I would say professional VR industry. Um, so one of course is Vario has announced uh, XR4 headset. Nice. Uh, ooh. Good and job, uh, <laughs> and uh, Vario has announced XR4 headset. And uh, and, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 uh, VR engineers have raised six million dollars in their new round. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, so let's discuss. Let's discuss VR engineers because um, they have secured they? Uh, a, they sound a bit... six million round. I don't even know who they are. Who are they? Who are they? Who, who are they? Who, who are VR engineers? Tell us. We are engineers. Everyone needs to so know who as they are. their name suggests, as their name suggests, I just want to say, okay, VR yeah. engineers are people who are engineering some things in VR. Make sense? Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know they are. I know they are. They do. They or do, they some do people, the, um, as, as Curious Newt has said, virgineers. Some people call them virgineers. <laughs> uh, Newt. <laughs> but that is that is absolute fake news. Okay, fake news. Um, <laughs> you work there. You work and, for them. Okay. Any, any. No. I work for them. Yeah. What? You work with them. I'm the board member and an investor in them, so I'm, I'm I work just, with I'm, them. I'm trying to like do like a storyboard for people who don't know. Sort of uh, the storyboard. Yeah. So the storyboard <laughs> we work uh, together on VR one headset. Oh. So that's um, that's the that's the part. And yeah, we joined that inv this investment round as well as Sony Space. Um, and we are, uh, yeah, happy to be their investors. The, I think again, I'm biased, but I know the guys and they are absolute magicians in VR, the best of the best, uh, whoa, 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 in the world. Whoa, you said I'm, engineers, I, I said... not wizards. Which one is it? It's borderline. Okay. Like okay, very difficult to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's it's very <laughs> difficult to kind of uh, decide whether it's uh, wizardy thing, magic, or it's engineering still. But no, I mean, they're magic, really good. They're really good. Unexplained science. So they're a bit of both yeah. And I'm, and I'm happy. Yeah, and I'm and I'm happy that they're you know they got funding and they have so cool products lined up for especially for professional military uh, VR trainings and stuff. Some Excel. crazies. Crazy stuff. I mean, X style is an X oh, stuff, don't, don't say which, I cannot, which I like... cannot talk about. No, no, no. I've seen stuff which I cannot talk about. They're, they're like ten years. Uh, Are they from what I from from what little knowledge I've got of military? Aren't they like ten, twenty years ahead of what we've got in consumer? Is that right? Ish. So what are they rocking with? I've... Full full simulators. I... I want to see no, that. I think I think it's not it's not like 10, 20 years, that. not at all. But some parts of of the of the VR solutions they use and XTile uses, for example, um, is way out there and probably will not get into consumers because we just don't need that. Um, need but there's it. a lot of systems integrated. <laughs> you need it, right? I want field of view, so big, like you said on a, uh -huh. on a previous episode. But you not see like the, the biomets. 
please. Oh no, That's, don't okay. say that. So you basically so what I what I understand, <laughs> you need a, you need a headset which is fixed and your hat is full like in a helmet. Yeah. And then I, you I'd can turn that. your hat. Exactly. You, you turn your head, but the, the headset still no stays screens. fixed. They're okay? 2D. They're 2D. Exactly. He's like, oh, exactly. Wow. exactly. <laughs> Full field of view. Okay. Exactly. Full field. Okay. No, no, I'll, I'll talk to the guys. Though. Like uh, Archie just said, not like the Pimax. I, if we're going to dive in field of view, I'm going to say one thing about Pimax. This is just my own personal plebe opinion. When you put the Pimax on, field of view is just like a bigger screen. Do you... Do you you know what I mean? No, but that's you never had Xtile on your head, right? I'm guessing Xtile goes. Whoop, X no, no, Xtile is 160. Um, it's oh, a bit. Stop it's a bit, it's, it's, it's a bit narrower on the on the on the vertical part. Yeah. But it's 160, and what I like about Xtile, it's not distorted. You know, like it's it's you get 160 degrees 4K per eye, but it's not distorted, and that's great. Like that's just very very good. Yeah. Um, I just found with Pimax, so... it doesn't wrap around you. It doesn't wrap around. Really hard to explain this. You've tried I know. It. I had Pimax. It's like, it's, I, of course, of course. It's like here, where it should be like here. It's like watching a bigger, bigger screen telly. But you're closer to uh, it. Someone, someone says that it's, it's, uh, here that uh, 75 hertz for X out. Sure, but with all honesty, in simulators and flight simulators, you don't see any difference there. Like when it's more static image, when you are not trying to move your head like crazy around, and it's like a fast paced stuff. When you are just you know flying and stuff, it's perfect. Uh, you don't be, you you would you, you, you would not see the difference if I just give you two uh, uh, and compare it. You would not be able to realize the yeah, difference when I'm playing in a fast. Ghost of Tabor, I don't think seventy five hertz is going to do it. I need at least one hundred twenty. <laughs> Professional Ghost of Tabor. <laughs> These two words, phrases, they don't go come together. Okay. This this is this is not compatible. Just because I let you kill me when you but, first uh, played yeah, with me. Yeah, the field of view. Uh, like I I tried that that simulator on Somnium Connect, and yeah, it's just insane. Especially like you're sitting in the cockpit, so uh, the the thing is actually there, and yeah, it's quite tight. Uh, so so you really feel like you're in the uh, the fighter, uh, right? Jet. And then like yeah, I was looking around, I was doing some flips and stuff, and yeah, it's just completely different when you have that field of view there that like the, the image actually is there it's oh. not just uh you know black tunnel uh to the game i like, like yeah i like the look of black tunnels like i like it. that's my favorite kind of field of view. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quest two yeah, hello like first thing is good. Yeah. oh look hello. at you kudis hello 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 oh. newt welcome in <laughs> you, you big chunk of a boy you're really tall aren't you Sorry, did he, you're really tall, aren't you? Like massive. Yes. Okay. People say that about. Yeah, you can't <laughs> fit into the camera. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've been we've been testing some uh, full body tracking builds uh, with Choda, and he was like, "Yeah, look how tall you are." <laughs> I was, I was just like, <laughs> "Oh my god, hello." <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And then, then, I, then I felt tiny. Oh, Tiny. do you do you want to see? Do you want to see? Remember last time we did magic. Last time we did magic. Okay. What did we do. Can't we remember. I did the McDonald thing and year one. You remember? Oh. This time, uh, this time, this time we'll do we'll do another magic, guys. We need to do some really good cut. Are you ready? Are you ready? First of all, yeah. Sh to... Show the show the boomer joke alert. Yeah. Yeah. In the <laughs> in the edit. <laughs> Stop <laughs> stealing. Perfectly. Put your tits away. <laughs> I know this is a private room. What's well, he doing? Gonna bring <laughs> I wasn't expecting <laughs> that. Slap him. I was what? <laughs> I got you. What, what was? What was that? That was that was you know Wizard Harry. Ah, you didn't expect that, huh? I didn't. I genuinely didn't. It actually, made me skip. Like I jumped a tiny bit when I saw him. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that would be. I knew. Okay, that's epic. All right, great. Yeah, out breath now. Boomer epic joke. <laughs> what you've got? Yeah, out breath. My brain confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All God. right. Okay. Thank you, Kidner. All right. Zoomer boomer. Okay. He's going to the reveal the price. <laughs> reveal the price. Which price? Stop <laughs> asking the, about the price. The it's pr gonna be uh, great price. The I'm, best price ever. I tell you. I guarantee corner, you. It's gonna be time. less than XR4. Okay. Less than XR4. But more than Apple Pro. 
I'm gonna <laughs> no, no. For a while. don't spread so fake news here. What? <laughs> and upscale them with AI. Yeah. Yeah. No 720p leaks. screens of scale to 4K. <laughs> <laughs> we just take old Nokia phones, we put the, the screens from them, and uh, in fact, it, the, that's what we've got. The first VR one is not going to ship out of any screens. It's just going to be two tiny holes, and we put it on. Wow, the pass through is amazing! Look at the yeah, look at the clarity. Not... Okay, that, that's amazing. a boomer joke. We already had this joke years ago. Okay, when we were 3D printing the shells and testing the different oh, form factors. Oh. That's of course. No, I, that's I wasn't like... here for that. I'm I'm a baby in this space. I'll stick I'll stick with my cardboard Google Google. I mean. Look, <laughs> it's no problem. Okay, so um, Virgineers have secured six million round. Congratulations, we are Um, we're proud investors, and um, there's a lot of good stuff coming out for military. So, if you are from military and you're watching this podcast, first of all, write down in comments, identify yourself, which country are you representing, and God speak. And second of all, uh and then uh yeah i mean we are you know we're super happy for for them and that's great news for vr in general i can tell you that great i will say nothing more news uh, great for pc vr my friends great for pc vr um PC another VR. news uh we have uh vario vario have revealed xr4 headset so and uh they are their pitch is that they have a 4K or 3.8K per eye resolution. They have very high mixed reality resolution and cameras of 20 megapixels. Um, in comparison, for example, VR1 has 12 megapixel cameras uh, inside with huge sensors um, uh, inside. And you you can see it in the pictures and renders how big those sensors are. What and size are we, those can, we can talk about as a as a photography note, huh? what size are those sensors inside VR1? Can you tell us? I will not tell you. I oh, will we, tell will you tell me afterwards. Not reveal. I, no, oh. you have to wait for Somnium Connect. So I, I'll, I'll, All the specs of them. <laughs> I mean, you know the resolution of them. We have we have set, we have already said the is resolution. It, it a, a and the good sensor? thing about the mixed reality. Okay, wait. Let's talk about Vario. Let's talk about Vario <laughs> VR one. We can talk about later. <laughs> okay. Uh, but but um, so Vario Vario has. Uh, first of all, do you know what I liked? As an investor and a, and 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 a, and a very um, you know happy user of Tesla suit, I like that in their demo of mixed reality in that white room. We'll put the video here. They have a avatar standing, and it has Tesla suit on it. I approve, Wario. Very well done. Does it? But yeah, it does. <laughs> here does this it is the do video. Anything? We'll put. We'll put. It, uh, and it's just standing like this. It's just standing like this. But it has a Tesla suit on it. And again, I approved it. Thank you, Mario. Very good. Very good. Well done. I can't wait to try um, the Tesla suit. Just make so, sure you clean it first so, before you send it me in. Okay, you? let's let's so they have two mini LED displays, two hundred nits brightness, um, with three thousand eight hundred forty by three thousand seven hundred forty four. Uh, they claim pixel per degree of fifty one, which the higher version has, and the normal one has what thirty five. I'm not sure. Um, they have a spheric lenses, uh, double a spheric du lenses. A, du have a I dual that? stack, did you say? Du dual oh, stack oh, spheric oh, lenses. Oh. Where did I see this? I have no idea. I, I think I've seen this somewhere, but uh, that's another question. Um, they have IPD adjustment range of 56 to 72, um, display port 1.4, USB C. Um, the big change is the big change is they went from Lighthouse to inside out camera slam uh type of tracking um and um uh, and 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 uh they have created their own controllers with razor as they claimed um then 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 then, then, then they have eye tracking uh no face tracking onboard cameras and the lidar. I'm not a fan of that and, controller design. And and the price for what I just named you with 51 PPD is 10,000 euros or uh, 10,000 dollars and the price for a lower version uh, of the headset is 4,000 euros starting price uh, oh. before taxes. I could so, buy a bus for that. <clears throat> a real bus with uh, seats in it and an engine. There is also as as as, as correctly pointed out there's also a Steam VR plate Sold separately for one thousand dollars, 
Uh, if you want to have a SteamVR tracked uh, uh, extra four, don't tell about so that will make hack. it 5k pre tax. Life hack. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if that uh, will work. Yeah, Get so one. That's, Try it. That's what what are what are your thoughts, Shoda? What are your thoughts about uh, extra four? I, I don't I don't like this thousand dollars to play SteamVR games. I think that's bollocks. If I'm honest, I know it's meant to be for enterprise, but why? Why is it so expensive? Am I just being? Am I just out of touch with that part? Tech is expensive. I, I just... mean, tech is expensive. I, you know, I know how much things cost, and I can tell you that the price is not like it's 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 not out of this world price uh, for what they packed into into the headset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, I, I let you. I let you tell me your more of your thoughts about the headset, whatever you have, and then I'll kind of chime in what I think about it. No, it, it's it's massive. It's it's so big. It's so big. It is, that is the first thing I noticed. It's it's just huge. I think every, every time I see someone using it, I but it's white. I I, fe I fear it's when they if they do that too fast, it's gonna stop and then turn, and the inertia is just gonna break your neck. It looks massive. But I like, have to I say, like front. Bradley has tried it, and he has said in his video that it's actually the ergonomics is better than the previous headset of Varia. So they probably okay, did did enough. some good job of counterweighting, um, and 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 the head strap. Um, my biggest problem with that is, who can? I this? just don't see a consumer at home buying this because yeah. I don't imagine which kind of computer can run this resolution natively, like. I know that to run VR one with some games, uh, you need to have a hell of a computer like 40, 80, 30, 90 will run it, but 40, 90, you know, like in, in order to get a good FPS mm. in the native resolution, like how the hell you're supposed to run 3000, whatever, 840 by 3744. If you start downscaling this, you, you know, like why would you then buy a 4K display? So, you know, RTX 5090 is probably, you know, far away from us. And 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 the, let me say, like this headset is like for pro prosumers. For enterprise, obviously. And again, I would love to know like exactly what enterprise needs that kind of resolution uh, of human eye because Unless after thirty above thirty PPD, you can read. So I can I can read the tag. You know, there's a text of human eye uh, reading. And I can read the line below the perfect line of the of the uh, of the viewers, and there's no problem. So, uh, it's it's a question, you know. I need it. I want to try it, but it's a question of do you need that type of resolution? Now, if we compare it to Apple Vision Pro, which is upcoming, so Vario has LCD displays, mini LED LCD displays, and Vision Pro has OLED displays, and it's 4K per eye. And that display or that headset is mainly meant to consume content, meaning pictures, videos, movies. Yep. And there you need a very, very, you know, smooth image to make sure, like sharp and smooth in terms of vivid image, in ter so to, to have this content pop up um, and, and really enjoy it because it's a media device. But I'm not sure whether Vario has positioned themselves as a media device because probably you're not buying XR4 to watch 3D movies, aren't you? Maybe you are. I don't know. Uh, so that's that's kind of like where I'm. I'm asking myself. Okay, I have forty ninety. I'm an enthusiast. Um, will I use even, even that if, amount of tech? Even if you're like debating, you know, even if you're saying, will I use this? That should that should raise some flags for everyone else, really. Because because to me to me I again there are people who will. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, no yeah. So so ran ran two seven four says yes. A lot of people will. What's happening with my camera? Do you see it as well? Disco What's disco boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but a lot of people a lot of people uh, would. Sure, good for them. Um, I personally want you know a headset which kind of will not my computer. You know what? Let my computer die. Uh, <laughs> when the graphics card will 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 you know when when we have fifty ninety uh, graphics cards, which I'm not sure whether it's happening. When do we expect fifty ninety to hit the market? It's, uh, it's, in um, two years, yeah, not yeah. next year, right? In two years. Yeah, Q two. So we're in the middle. Two years. Uh, 
next year we have 59 is it next year i think it's 2025 okay and okay 2025 so that's what i'm saying so that's when it will make sense to buy xr uh, xr4 in my opinion like once you have 59 and you can run it you are you are there and also i think they said that they have display 1.4 um like they to run that bandwidth um because we are we is we're using as well display 1.4 and the bandwidth from our stuff is pretty intense. So I'm not sure about how they deal with the bandwidth. Um, they got to be just doing uh, some downscale or upscale, aren't they? they? have to be. Like, like the, um, yeah. the big screen. I'm seeing, seeing with XR4 is like, it's they're focused on prosumers. Okay, they want big companies, military simulators, US Army, but to buy the headsets. So why to advertise it on YouTube and Twitter like it's for consumers. Like they anticipated, here's something you've been waiting for so long on Twitter. And then there's a premiere on YouTube and then like countdown. And then they have a, you know, talking. It all points to something you would do for a consumer because for a professional market, maybe you would like send an email or talk with them personally and tell them the good stuff. So why? Do a marketing for the headset like it's a consumer device if it's not if it's focused mainly on prosumer. Like, like, like I, going, think, like I think that might That's also be weird. go on i think that also might be uh because a lot of enthusiasts bought their previous headsets right so maybe maybe that is the reason they're they're trying to push it that way as well but uh, like the the use case i think is going to be um as previously mentioned enterprise especially automotive where in the design phase you really need to you, you really need to see and have the clarity get um, right into the paint yeah this paint's nice yeah I, this welds nice i, I yeah. think you know like the, the first, first people that are going to buy it uh will be you know the the people that want to have the the, the, the display with the best resolution in the market and they but, you know just because of the best thing even if it's maybe not the best thing, it. it's perceived like the, that they don't 10 allow grand you to though. buy. You have grand. to have a time Yes, yeah, they said they will they will allow it to buy consumers in some month or maybe half a year or whatever. The they said that one, they will allow is, consumers. Is it 4000 for the consumer one? Yeah, I think so. That's what they indicated. Well, that's, that's as far as I understood. Well, plus 1000 for Steam VR checking if you want Steam VR. But for for the for the resolution, 4 sounds and 700 euros after tax. Jesus. Um don't buy the Steam VR thing. Yeah. Get get a Tundra track and stick it on. Hundred, tax, hundred quid. <laughs> Don't tell Barrio that. that. They'll send the. Uh... Renin said four thousand seven hundred. It's okay, men. And you are sitting on my head for the price of Somnium VR One. Oh well, if then. you know what you can charge him. Yeah. It's okay for you. Don't stop asking me about the price of VR One. It'll be cheaper. That okay, charge, please, you please. Oh, charge him oh like what, two thousand euros more. Yes, for, exactly. For you can you t tell them the price Exclusive separately. Deal. Yeah, this is the price. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what you want to spend. <laughs> okay, okay should I? Should I? We'll do some magic. We'll put the price of VR One here. Okay, and put the in post production. <laughs> Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Now everybody's like, Ooh, I'll have to watch this. I'll have to watch this. Oh my God. Hang on, no, just cutting me going. <laughs> no, 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 it's not again. real. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll let you know the price later, okay? So you can put in post production. For you, it's uh, eight grand. Listen, you, you, can't, you can't put a price on VR1, okay? That's how good it is. <laughs> of course, you've tried it, haven't you? Go away. Listen, 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 guys. <laughs> listen. Um. And I, I just want to say, I just want to say, so XR4, first of all, I do respect Vario for pushing the boundaries further in what's possible in the yeah. PC VR tech. I 100%, I want to say it out loud, looking at the camera, 4K resolution, iPhone, zoom in. I really do respect Vario. I really do. So that's, that's number one. Now, am I allowed to have my own opinion about would I buy the headset? Well, sure, I'm allowed to have my own opinion. No. I would not buy an XR4 for myself. I have the budget to do that. I have the computer kind of to do that. I have 40, 90, 64 gigs of RAM, the, the, the you, you know, overclock you latest struggle. processor, you water cooling. I have it all, but man, I probably wouldn't buy it just because it's, I know I would not be able to run it in, in, in the games in the native resolution. Then it will, I would feel like I'm not using the max out of it. And then I just paid for the Max, but I'm not using the Max, and that kind of makes this a little bit contradictive for me. 
Um, so yeah, uh, it's 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 just it's just kind of what 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 I what I see. But is it is it a good tech? I think for the PC VR, spec wise, is the best what you can get. Um, and for some people, it will be needed because there might be some like military and some other applications where you need that spec. For majority of people, it's probably not the the headset they will buy, which is also dictated by the price. And uh, yeah, I mean that's kind of um, that's kind of how yeah, I like, how what I feel. What, what I wonder is uh, like if if you're doing it for for enterprise application, and you know, okay, like we're buying these headsets, we will have forty ninety with this with the CPU and everything, and we want this application, and we are developing that application. So I, I guess like a lot of games uh, today are actually CPU bound. Um, so if you if you re really then developing the application with the target, okay, I want this FPS, I want this resolution and everything. I think that probably you can do it. Uh, but yeah, like for people that are playing games and games uh, and everything, then uh, yeah, you will uh, you will probably uh, not use. I'll get uh, really everything out of it for. By the way, years by the way. Red in two seven four said, "I will buy your fully stacked Somnium VR one, regardless of the price." But I'm an exception. Okay, you have been granted, and a special. I apologize. Come you. to my you're, special you're, you're, room. You're, 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 <laughs> exactly. You you are you're off the hook. Okay, you're off the hook. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a look, golden ticket. Um, a, go a golden ticket. Golden okay. Ticket. What's your reservation number, Ren in two seven four one? Because yeah, I better not reserve it. Given how much reservations we're getting, and if people want to get it sooner rather than later, the headset, I think reserving it is actually really important. You can buy my um, reservation if you want. I'm going to buy an XR four. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I disconnect <laughs> you from the podcast one second? I'm 94. checking. I'm checking. You're really close to me. I don't want to sell anymore. I'm checking. <laughs> I'm checking. I'm checking your. Okay, kick showed up. No, no, do Which it. Should I do? Vote. <laughs> put put one up. if you want. If you want. If you want Ben or put two if you want kick. Okay, guys, vote, vote, vote. Okay, one. Everyone <laughs> okay, hates me because I'm band. a peasant. <laughs> one, 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 two, one. I'm okay, British, we have two bands. One. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sad now. You know what made me happy? A VR one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, I, it's in, it's an interesting and it's an interesting device, and uh, I have some. Okay, <laughs> I had to say we'll we'll splash this. Like, there's a tweet you've tweeted with a picture of uh, uh, XR4 in a nutshell in terms of the design. Okay, we talked about the specs, but talking about the design, ah, can yeah. we put that picture in this? Yeah, yeah? can we put with this picture in? Okay, my, we'll my we'll dip. place it here. It's a fun. It's a fun. It's a fun thing. Uh, but um, yeah, other than that, I I would like to try it. Um, I would like to see it, how it looks. I'm pretty sure it looks impressive. Um, but he won't use it. Remember, just like five minutes ago, he said he's not gonna not gonna use it. But he wants to try it. I don't think I don't think it will be my daily driver. You know what I mean? Like it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's just, I know what you mean. It's, it's, it's too. It's, it just feels too clunky. I know. I know you, you can't see yourself in VR, but I just toaster. Know. And it's interesting that they are going with, um, you know, with their own controllers, and they look, um, they look absolutely poverty spec. They look all yeah. I mean, they look, they look a little bit like, 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 like Qualcomm uh, reference design a little bit. Just go to Valve. Valve excuse me, Valve. You know, you're really good controllers. Can we take your design and make it white and make it trackable to our headset? Thank you, Valve. That's all I gotta do. That's it. That'd be so much better. Valve and Meta, if that would be that easy, especially... we'd do that too. <laughs> Go on then. I'll send them an email. I've got what the... a good controller should be. Uh, sorry, say again, Archie. Uh, Valve has set a like a good example of what a good controller. Oh, they have put st be. high standard, yeah, for sure. For uh, for everything, yeah. for the headsets, for the ergonomy, for the sound, for mm -hmm. the microphones, for the tracking. Everything like Val has done an incredible job. Have you seen Sadly Bradley's or... latest? Okay, now we have to have a now we have to have a new uh yeah like a two minute episode of Descart latest Copium news. Have you seen it? Shoda, tell us. Oh, have you seen Shoda, it? tell me, tell let me, me, tell me, me what are up. the latest news on Descart Copium? Let me get it up because indicate oh, us. I am I am full of it at the minute. Where I'm, is Bradley? Where is, where is Bradley? 
Bradley, where are you? Just just fill this in while I'm trying to find. He's in the la- he's in the last episode. You can go and visit him. He's he's still there. Yeah, what are you, are you, still... Why are you looking for it? Uh, actually, like the only good thing about the XR Four is uh, that uh, they got rid of the subscription fee. I think I think that's totally insane. Uh, I think like, it's, it's really good that uh, they got uh, rid of it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They just like subscription for for hardware it just sounds insane, more uh, insane every day. I found it, but I just found something else. Apparently, the the link that Brad's found, the SteamVR link, it supports foveated encoding. He, there's a video of him doing it now. I'll put it here. Ah. Okay. Is it like a fresh video of him doing? Yeah, it? Like, it's what, now. What? Now, what what is he doing? What what what? There's a video of him in VR, and it shows him putting on foveated encoding inside SteamVR as just like a normal option. Uh, but this, uh, let's have a look here. Where is this? Where is this? Okay. Oh, for the encoding. News. Okay, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Deckard News. So they've got inside Steam VR, and I'll put this on Marek's, Marek Newt's face here. Bonk. There you go. Cover that up. The, the tall sod. Thank you. You got stuff like all the options you need for wireless PC VR. You got bandwidth, you got encoder size, you got encryption. OSC straight from the headset. What else you got here? You can you can change the OSC output for stuff like face tracking and eye tracking, and that's all built into Steam VR. So, is the next Valve one going to be just a pure wireless one, maybe with a little link box? I don't know. What do you think? Tell me. Anyone? I think from what I from what I heard from sources. Sources is it mayonnaise. Um, I love mayonnaise. I am um, my bet on next Valve uh, headset is wireless mm-hmm. um, and wired both possible, but wireless um, inside out tracking, like slam tracking, camera tracking. Um, so my personal my personal thought is that they are trying again. I might be wrong, but they are trying to. Because if you think logically of what Valve business model is, they want to sell okay. more games. Mm-hmm. And to sell more games, they need hardware which is more affordable. Index was an amazing experiment, an amazing product for what it was. But still people complained that it's expensive. And to make it mainstream, it is expensive. So 1,000 bucks or 1.2k is expensive, expensive to get. Now. Exactly. So what they want to do is they want to um, they, they, they want to go down with the price to sell more headsets to sell you more games. Um, at least that would be an idea. Or they need to kind of interconnect their ecosystem in a way that sells more games. I think that's the main purpose. Now, if and that's why I think they would rather go because everybody expects Deckard to be the Valve Index to all things up and crazy expects and everything top of the notch and just will be incredible headset and everything for 1000 bucks but reality i think would be that it will be closer to psvr2 i've got so that it will be good it's good more. enough but it will sell games and they will be able to just push the the, the content and 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 kind of like have the headset for masses would be, which will be good it will be wireless it will be comfortable and it will probably work with maybe steam deck Maybe something I don't know, but I'm just saying. Like I expect more on that side, so I there might be a mismatch said, between what people hope for and between what we're actually getting. Is accurate. I've just seen yeah. something else. Valve has announced and released Steam Link on the MetaQuest Store to allow users to easily stream PC VR games and direct Valve Drive integration. Yeah, because think about it. What I'm is the it. biggest? What? Who? Which hat that has the in. biggest share on Steam? It's oh, Quest my days. Too. Wait, there you go. Look at that link. What? What? Look! Yep. I'm looking. Look! look. What? It's what? happening! I find it funny that he posted a picture of him being on vacation at the beach <laughs> and said, like, Valve post something. And they did! Like... Oh, this is, this is a game changer. Team Link. Team Link. Gives you your Steam library you directly from your computer to your Medic Quest headset. To, to vacations. Wait a second. Okay, let's discuss Steam Link. Okay, breaking news. Breaking Can we put the breaking Link. news here? Break, breaking news. Stop it. Okay, cringing what, enough. What? Carry on. Sorry. It, what, 
what, what, what? My camera stopped working. You popped out. Of, what? What's happening here? What happens? Is to it my... free? Wait. Don't ask me why I got the cloth strap on. Don't ask me why I got the cloth strap on. Carry on, boys. I'm Guys, do you now. see me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. It works. But do you see me? Yeah. Can I yeah. see? You? Yeah, I can see. Just... You. All right, it's flat. On here? One second. It's flat. <laughs> Fucking. What flat? My, my, my amazing headset. I'm getting it now. I'm trying it now. Live. Carry on. I'm trying it live. Okay. Why <laughs> am I not seeing myself? What's going on here? You know what you look like. It's fine. You don't need to see yourself. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Here we are. Okay, 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 good. <laughs> there you Who go, posted look. this gift? <laughs> okay, there you okay go. wait, wait, wait. Like. That, while you're trying it, there were some questions. I think Arthur don't want that. What? Yes, let's talk about the PPD issue of the... of the. Or I already addressed this in a VR1 thing. People asking. I already asked our engineers. And they said, we have no problemo. No problemo. Yeah, we no. can render in stereo 4.5k per eye. Uh, no problem. So that's the reaction, quick reaction on WhatsApp, what they told me. So no problem. No PPD gate here for no VR1. Okay? No PP gate. No PP VR1. gate. Yeah, no PPD. Okay, PPD <laughs> gate PP for gate. VR1. Yeah, PP. So I'm, I'm busy and it's superior gate. headset. Oh my god, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's discuss what what is the Steam Link, and what it will bring. And I'm why it's different right from, <laughs> from, from virtual desktop. Wait, why are you excited about this if it's basically the same as virtual desktop? Should um, it? I think it's more like virtual desktop killer. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's what I, th I think. The only person who should be nervous a little bit is uh, a guy, right? Who's creating the virtual desktop. Because oh, like, what is the difference lovely. between... He's uh, lovely. Maybe they hired him. Uh, maybe. Be the best. I'm it gonna brings more later. users to Steam. How would it bring more users to Steam? Because everybody who owns has that and bring a virtual desktop, they're using Steam games and now, they're playing Steam you, games through a virtual desktop. What I want to find out is, is, is there any cloud-based service in the background on Steam? Oh, it... What, what, what? Yes, Should I? Uh, I tracked foliation. Is there any, yeah, yeah. Is there any cloud-based stuff? So, like, can I stream a VR game Without having the PC, you know what I mean. Is there any cloud stuff? I wait, wait. Let me see. Uh, extend your Steam game experience to your mobile device, TV, VR headset, or PC. All you need is the local network or internet connection. In addition to Steam Link app, now supports remote play together. Now you can join games, host it on a. Wait a second, that oh, might be true. That's that. That's what I mean. Oh my god. That's why I'm excited. I'm sorry. I should that's... have explained myself a bit better. Hang on. That if that is the case, if we're talking about you being able to play PC games without owning a anywhere. PC oh, anywhere and VR really games, that is a game changer. I think it makes sense because they did uh, Steam Deck, so they would put electronics of Steam Deck Store. inside of the VR headset. If they manage to do that, you can play almost any game. Steam Link. Because Steam Deck is amazing. So Steam Link is the so, oh, so now we're talking about if they will release a headset, it has to be a Steam Deck power headset. Or you connect Steam Deck to your headset, and that will be just goggles, which will make even more sense because then you need you can you can drive costs down by just providing the displays and the hardware power the will be in your Steam Deck. And popping. then and, and what? The reviews are just all popping, not as in like great reviews for it already. Wait, Steam Link already has five thousand reviews? No, they've got. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't need bots. They don't need to buy bots to get big, Arthur. Uh, no, no, no. The, the release, the release date is tenth of November. So I've got it now. Today I'm is. I'm downloading it. It's that. Da I'm downloading it. It's got nineteen ratings. For Steam Deck is not powerful enough for VR, but Steam Deck is powerful enough to 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 run Steam Link and run p games like from game. the cloud. Yeah, that's what that's what it's powerful for. And if you connect your, if you just make new Deckard as just goggles, and it will make so much sense. Wait. Now the links would connect because suddenly you will have a device which is cheap because VR without computing power is cheap. You have two screens, and then you'll have like some some part, and the computer will be done. Some of the computer will be probably done on the device, and some will be offloaded to the Steam uh, Steam Deck, and you are able to run the games 
directly uh, from the cloud, depending on how the latency is. But I, I've seen some I'm demos where the latency is quite good. That will make sense for Valve because by doing that, they will sell a lot of games, right? They will sell much more games and much more devices and all the ecosystem will be just together. And it's also making sense that they release it on Quest because Quest is the most used VR device on the Steam ecosystem today. It has 25% market share. So why would they destroy their biggest selling point if they can just support it more? Um, so is that making sense? Okay. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, um, I think that's... We're that's gonna, what, I think that would be... Wait, I'm what? Some, what? I'm gonna do some wizardry here. Let's do wizardry. Okay, I love wizardry. Ka Karen talking. <laughs> fill it. Fill it. I fill it. What? I, I need. I need to continue talking or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I continue <laughs> I, talking. I okay. Steam talking. link. Steam link. Okay. I just refresh. It's five thousand one twenty-seven reviews. I refresh it. I still want five thousand one twenty-seven reviews. Lame. So they released it and uh, for long, it? long time ago. So if I do this. I mean, Steam Link, uh, like when it was first released, it was to be able to stream. Yeah, your but games now now they devices, added right? MetaQuest two, three, and Pro support. Yes. So that's a big story, and I think that just shows us where it goes and what potential Deckard could be, right? By the way, if anyone from the audience wants to join us, just raise your hand. Boom, you'll be here faster than you can blink. All right. Speak. Come on. I'm connecting. Request to, request to speak. Request to speak. Three, four, All right, five. here we have what, what cyber. What is cyber needs Three, mind? Five. Hello. Oh, Shoda is. What Hello. are you doing, Shoda? We're doing it live, baby. Look. Oh. What is this? What is this? Okay, now I'm black oh. screen. Host is not responding. Great oh. start. <laughs> <laughs> what what are we were playing? What what game have you launched? Uh, Steam Link. Yeah, but what what game was there? Nothing. Or was Nothing it Steam VR Home? It's launched Steam VR. Yeah, but what is this? What is the game? Oh no, this is just this is just the Oculus. The Oculus. Oh, game. that's just the Oculus. Home. Okay, 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 right. okay. Oh, what's going on? Video and code error. It's very, very okay. jittery. Okay. Yeah, it will be. Okay, cyber, cybernet, his mind. Tell us something. Show us yourself. Review yourself. We don't hear you, by the way. Maybe you're not talking. So you you you, you wanted to speak, but we're. Uh... But you're not speaking. But you're not speaking. That's kind of not speak. fair. You cannot tease us like this. <laughs> it's, not Come on. it's not doing good. <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. Speak quickly. Anyone else wants to join the podium? Okay, Cyber Mind, if you will not speak, I'll have to kind of move you to audience gently. Okay, I'll try it later because it's, it's struggling. It might be because I'm doing loads of recording now? at the same time. Now, now it's working. Now, yeah. now, now it's we're here. Yes, okay. hello. The hello. other mic is not um, done yet to speak with that. Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> Good. Well, as you can see, we're doing amazingly well. We're, um, yeah. we're, we're, we're ready. Well, into the episode, and uh... you can be sure that it's uh, uh, cloud-based and not local air network-based. Uh, that's Link. what they're writing. That's what they're writing, right? Anywhere you can play the games anywhere, and not having the PC. That's what I what I what I see. Uh, they write. Mm. So let me read it again. Extend your Steam gaming experience to your mobile device, TV, VR headset, or PC. All you need is the local network or internet connection. In addition, the Steam Link app now supports remote play together. Now you can join games hosted on a friend's PC just by clicking a link. Ah, like yeah. that sounds maybe, to me. Maybe it's a game changer. Also for many people that want to play um, PC VR games, and we know PC VR games to, uh, to play is really expensive because you need a high-end PC. <laughs> that can be a game changer for Valve especially if they want to compete against Meta and their... Um, yeah, but if they want, if Meta allow them to be on the store, right? They're official in the Meta store. Meta is not stupid. They wouldn't allow something like that without realizing yeah. that this is... Yeah, so kind of... maybe Meta see uh, Steam, especially for VR content, not so much as a danger for now. 
Meta definitely knows that they sell a lot of quests for to people who play Steam VR games. Yeah, that's, that's also a good point. That because they see that top top selling like device, a top use use device is the like Quest Two, and thing. Quest Three will be. It's not worth. So but maybe it's it a, will... it's maybe it's a great game game change. Especially you can play on the go your VR games with Steam Deck because you can uh, connect your Steam Deck with your uh, mobile phone. Use the five G network so you can play online VR games everywhere. Okay, oh, that's man. yeah. I mean, if that's... I can connect with my, if I have a Quest and I just uh, connect to my from anywhere in the world, I connect to my computer wirelessly, or even not computer, I can oh. just because you can do it today. But you need I to can just graphics connect. driver. So that means I use an AV one then. Probably. It's a video encoder error. I need to update my graphics driver. I'm not going to do that now. I will. I'll do some. Oh, look at me later. <laughs> look at me. Okay. Basically, you connect your um, Quest 3 to your Steam Deck, and with the Steam Deck, you connect to your uh, smartphone that use 5G network for the internet connection, and that's connect to the Steam Cloud for PC VR games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just hot off the press, isn't it? Today, that's just that's insane. That is insane. I'm yeah, breaking news. That. That's the first. That's the world's first for us. Should have. <laughs> we never had pixel slaves. Never had breaking news. No, that's. Uh, now we have. Now we have. Oh, Maybe Valve was waiting for us to start the podcast. And oh yeah, they're they waiting for my beautiful of, voice of and course. opinions to, of to flood the market. Of course. <laughs> One one hundred percent. I know I'm I'm great. So come on, Valve, give me a new headset. Is this a rumor for Steam Steam Deck two? Because we get a refresh, but it's not a next next generation Steam Deck. <laughs> the OLED is only a refreshed Steam Deck with better hardware built in. They might headset, please. They might, but I'm afraid that the the uh, the wait. Valve has announced the release team link on MetaQuest Store to all use to easily stream PC games with direct Valve driver integration. Currently, no official Steam Link dongle hardware release to simplify the process. Uh, uh, oh. Wait, has it got... Um... Oh, you need only the Quest 3 for playing PC VR games from Steam. And you connect your Quest 3 to your... Um, VLAN Wi-Fi network or over 5G, if you have a 5G router. It should. It should. It <laughs> should. Because then it uh, makes no sense to use a, a Steam Deck. I wonder if they... What if they're bringing finger tracking? Okay, here? someone is saying the processor in Steam Deck is more powerful than the XR in Quest. I can't remember what that's to be cool. And yeah, I, I heard that as well. I read it somewhere. The, the the Steam Deck is actually capable of running VR, like it is. Um, but so you see a VR games more so like games like like on the Quest. Yeah, yeah, okay, but you it is also powerful enough to stream those games from PC as yeah, well. I was about to say. So yeah. this could be that would be useful. This could be an interesting. Yeah, and it also makes sense. Again, I think that Valve wants to sell more VR hardware and not compete to quest in general or not not destroy them as well so i think they just you know they could release just glasses which connect to the external hardware and then connect to See, wirelessly nice. and that would make just so much sense and the glasses could be like the vr goggles could be what 300 bucks now seeing uh, that i'm like that. adamant that their next headset is going to have a little come with a wireless route a wireless solution it'll come with a little little dongle and the headset that's what I think now. But sadly, think Brady, so but sadly, Brady says Valve wants to build a high-end high VR headset. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe no, it's sadly, it's Bradley is full man. of copium. Okay, he lives <laughs> off it. He needs it. So do I. He, he's. But I think he's what, full of what copium. Is saying um, actually makes sense because the the headset was previously seen with some sort of either dongle or a console, yeah. right? So it, it might come as a pair. So you get a little, a little box like thingy. this, little 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 a Wi-Fi box. You plug that into your PC and your headset. 
but in other hands, as so many people want to uh, to have index two, but as a company, especially like Artu says, you want to sell software, you have to. Um, you have to, to go down the X, X, Yeah, you have to bring a, a device that's cheaper for for most people to, um, yeah. to sell you more games. It's no it has to be good, around. but it has to be cheaper. It has yeah. to be cheaper. Yeah. There's um, no for a company like Valve. Well. That's yeah. why Meta Quest, Meta with the Quest, is so um, so good for us uh, when it comes to spread VR for most people because most people see the price. A uh, thousand euro or a thousand dollar? No, it's too expensive for me. And we don't talk here about high-end uh, headsets. So for most people, for five, for four hundred euros or six hundred euros is okay. And for some also, it's again expensive. You can blame Meta for that, though. Yeah. For like setting this trend of bringing out some really cheap hardware, and people think, oh, the next one's got to be either the same or cheaper. It can't work that way all the time, can it? It needs to be some kind of a good point here by MC Zarnik. He says, I don't know if even if they even care as much about hardware as software. They want all headsets to use Steam for VR games. And I agree with that. Yeah. That is there because that's the money printing machine for them. You have to understand that's where the money is, are coming for them. And that's their number one priority is to make money on software. Their Steam library is what where, where, where the money are. And if they can support that with any hardware or just making all hardwares to use their software, that's a holy grail. And that's why I believe that Steam could be supporting, you know, eye tracking on all the devices, could release this, you know, that they're not closing the, the, the system, but rather open it for other headsets because other headsets will make, you know, Steam more popular. Like that's, that's... That will really awesome. But we don't forget Steam wants us to try to move gaming to Linux because of Microsoft. That is true as well. Um, and I don't know yeah, how I'm... it will work uh, for VR. <laughs> yes, very complicatedly. Uh, that, that, that's for sure. Also, okay. I think that it would be weird if they moved from Lighthouse tracking to Inside Out tracking. They are yeah. known to use the previous tag for all of their stuff. Uh, Archie, and... can you crank up a little bit the volume? <laughs> uh, you can crank You're... him up by yourself. You can click I, on him. I, I, yeah. I can, can talk like this. Just click on him <laughs> no, with, no, no, a, with no, the right I, I mouse and yeah, just use the volume. Put, put, put volume, yeah. use the volume up. Thanks, Arthur. You remember that. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay. okay cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, st Lighthouse checking, they kind of gave it away to HTC, right? The HTC <laughs> bought all the rights for Steam VR, uh, so for Lighthouse tracking, and they now own the uh, the Lighthouse tracking and stuff. So I'm not sure they would do it um, if they would want to continue using it. Um, I'm pretty sure the Lighthouse tracking ecosystem will exist here for another at least eight years. Um, but because HTC has a lot of corporate clients who are using Lighthouse tracking and they support them and they also make money on them, the trackers and everything else, it's kind of a good, you know, money-making machine. They would not just abandon it for, for, for that, in my opinion. But um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know if, if Valve would use... Um, they want to have all-in-one device. Again, it needs to be cheap. It needs to be easy to use. That's what they want. And they are probably ready to compromise a bit on the precision stuff so again uh, enthusiasts will say like uh, but all the other people will say like no problem but when i wiggle my me... feet in vr i want it to be as accurate as possible yeah i know yes but that's I, you i really hope if you really own hope how many hats how, how, how many hats do you own how many hats do you own i think for Vive <laughs> it's really hard to make great for everyone because you have the old users that use pc vr and they want the best high end that's we we are now in, in that bubble, and then you, uh, they have to compete against Meta with um, cheaper device to get the wider audience. Co Co so Colonel, Must Ma Mustang says, Co Colonel Mustang, by the way, great nickname, says a good point. There were parts of the Lighthouse drivers that were in the first thing to reference Valve's Deckard. And um, if Valve is still going forward on the Deckard projects, uh, that, that very well the device might support both Lighthouse and yeah, the I, was, I was about to say that. I agree. Yeah, that that would that. be an, a king move. If they do that, yeah. this is the king move. I mean, it's doable because I do it with Quest 3 
That's why I got the Tundra Tracker. Oh, it is doable. Down. Yeah, it is doable. It is doable, of course, of course. It yeah, is so that would be smart. Uh, yeah, uh, it's also possible that uh, Valve will bring two or three different uh, Deckard headsets. One with lower specs for most people, much cheaper than a mid-range hmm. and then a high-end version for the okay. CVR enthusiasts. Possible. Okay. Or originally, I wanted to have Deckard discussion for two minutes, but now we're really twenty-five <laughs> minutes in. But uh, I just want to—I just want to—I just want to say, like, what would? Let's speculate a bit. What would those versions be if we have a low version, mid version, higher version? Like, That's what would be the question. difference? Could, what could it be? Like so the lower version could be like inside out. Slam end... tracking? Well, what? Maybe the the higher end version will have both, like light tracking and. Plus face Is tracking and tracking? eye tracking. Face tracking, eye tracking. And could exactly. be. Yeah, yeah, that's very important. And yeah. for the cheaper one, maybe they just leave the basics of the standalone headset uh, yeah. with mm -hmm. the Steam Link support. Like uh, support. Sure, with Pancake and um, SD display. Okay. I have it to say, golden ticket to for Ren2714. Put... He says, in two years, I'll be rocking my VR1 wirelessly. <laughs> Why in two? <laughs> earlier. You'll be doing oh, it earlier. You'll be dancing coming? in three months. Or four months, you'll be dancing with a VR one, depending on your reservation. New headsets right now without eye tracking are making a huge mistake. So, yeah, but that's and my opinion, personal yeah, opinion. I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. Me too. Because if you want uh, to get in games forward rendering, re rendering, so we, every headset have to build in eye tracking. And, and also, you need to have eye tracking for social VR. Just yeah, for yeah, eye of eye course. Eye like and on chat. top of that. If, like us, we are, you know, VR1 will be for consumers and for um, researchers, for some of the, uh, uh, you know, military even and stuff like that. So people will, companies will buy that. And you need to have that in research. A lot of researchers are using eye tracking to do different applications. And um, like for us, even in some like live forever mode where you record yourself to replicate yourself with AI, you need eye tracking as well because um, you record where you look. Uh, and things like that. So, that yeah, I mean, without eye tracking, the headset in 2023, 2024 is obsolete, in my opinion. That's why I, I was so... Three so main, a... three uh, main uh, points of eye yeah. tracking. Uh, like, the first one, of course, it's rendering. For VR rendering, it's good for yep. GPUs as well, because of the bandwidth and so on. The second one, social aspect. And the third one is, like, yeah, applications. UI navigation, you look at something and yes. click and it works. And Apple it's will completely rock so this and make it with, standard. With yeah. your hand doing like this and trying to point at something, Apple it's fan boy. So with your eyes, it's much better. You're but that's why I was so disappointed that, that the Quest 3 don't have built-in eye tracking. Uh, Meta should be built-in in every device eye tracking. Okay, maybe on the Quest especially Pro 2. Meta, yes, especially them. Yeah. Hey, maybe Colonel, on... Colonel, you're writing long text. Can you join us for the voice? Come on. Uh, I'm I, I'm good in reading them, but maybe you can join us in voice. Join us in voice. And join we'll, us. Uh, we'll discuss. Speak your mind. Do it now. Do it, do it do now. It. Do, do it, it now. I can't do it. I can't do it. Take my cookie. Do it now. One of us. One of us. Ask the Ugandan knuckles to say... Join okay, us. I'll invite him to speak. I'll just. That's exactly oh. my reference. <laughs> because maybe they can. Hey, push... he's with us. Oh. I, I don't can have I don't have my webcam hooked up, so that's. It's fine. Get him I out. don't oh. activate Boom. my webcam. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> in my opinion, uh, eye tracking should be everywhere on cheap device and on expensive. Maybe on the expensive is a better eye tracking, but you have to have everywhere eye tracking to get it. Uh, to work to get it so that every game works with for we are trading. Okay, listen, to listen, guys. We need to give Colonel a voice. He needs to tell us his opinion. Tell us. Share with us the wisdom. I I don't have any any super any specific wisdom. opinions. <laughs> I would I would say I have a little bit of wisdom, I guess, but not uh, not All a right. whole lot. I'm just kind of on the sidelines of everything usually. But uh, <laughs> for what is your what is your what are you rocking in VR? What what's your daily driver? Uh, I have an index, but I've actually mm. I've had oh. various things along the lines ever since Google Cardboard. That was really the first, uh, uh, I guess, cheap introduction to it, and then the usual pipeline to, to mm. yeah, yeah, and then the usual <laughs> pipeline to like you know, uh, um, the Oculus Rift, and then I went. Uh, I think my next biggest purchase was probably the uh, uh, Samsung Odyssey Plus. And that oh, headset, I have that to this day, 
I, is one of my favorite looks yes. on headset. Yes. Yep. Yes. Amen. It was such was an, an underrated amazing. headset. Yeah, absolutely. One, I have it still here in the office. One hundred percent true. Sounds it is an amazing awesome. headset. The visuals, top notch. Right, and it just it just had everything kind of balanced. I mean, don't get me wrong, the field That's of view quest, wasn't that's really that's there. Really and uh, yeah, but do you, do, but the sound was amazing, and the, the sound was, was amazing. Good. Yeah, and that's and why also, I wasn't able to find a replacement for it until I got my index, and then you know the index yeah. But I the... think even Odyssey Plus with some in some points is better than Index. Oh, in absolutely. The visuals, yes. visuals yes. and colors, yes. hands down. The colors were. And so do you remember? Vibrant. Do you remember? And I honestly, I'm very pissed on the Samsung because <laughs> because how they how they dropped the ball. Because do you remember? Because there was I own two Samsung Odyssey, Once. and then mm -hmm. I bought Samsung Odyssey Plus. Was the first one better? And the only difference between Odyssey and Odyssey Plus, or there were two main differences. One, because Odyssey and Odyssey Plus, they were a Windows WMR yeah. uh, based um, uh, headsets, and they had inside out tracking, camera based tracking, but mm -hmm. only with two cameras. And the first version, the tracking was of the controllers, you were losing tracking if you're going out of sight quite often. Yeah, and what they did with the uh, with the Odyssey Plus is that they added a lower latency um, tracking to the controls and the communication between the controller and the device. Plus, they did a little bit more calculation on the yeah, movement the and kind of projecting where your arms are, so you were losing tracking much less with two cameras. They actually did an amazing job with the tracking. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. And number two, which was the most impressive part, is they went from. Um, they had the same screens, but they added an anti SD SDE software effect, mm -hmm. uh, which was anti screen door software fix for the uh, for the Odyssey Plus. And what it did, if I remember correctly, it put the pixels. They kind of tilted the, the, with the software. They, they they kind of put the smoothing on top of the um, screen door effect, and they did an amazing job. So they didn't change the hardware, but they somehow managed to change the way how the screens were rendering the image to you. And the screen door effect was probably 50% less noticeable. Yeah, I and think if they... what I had... Uh, go ahead. What I'd heard specifically about that anti-screen door effect um, that they, they tried to pull off was... Um, um, my memory is a bit foggy on it, but I'm, I'm, if memory serves those... In the Odyssey Plus, at least, it was um, just general OLED displays... Uh, back when it was, or maybe it was AMOLED, because I guess it is. Oh, uh, now I remember. AMOLED. I just Googled it. Hey. I, just, I can read it out. <laughs> oh, uh, that's go what for they it. Thank you, Google. So they say, Accor according to Samsung, the anti-SD AMOLED display works by applying a grid that diffuses light coming yeah. from each pixel and replicating the picture to areas around each pixel. And I, I can, pr so I promise you, it worked incredibly well. It did, yeah. Incredibly it was basically just well. like fake, fake artificial blooming, essentially, on their AMOLED yes. displays to yes. kind of... Yes. Try and blur the 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 lines with uh, brightness. By the way, and... I'm I'm amazed that that Sony PSVR didn't use this technique because on Sony PSVR right? the uh, screen door effect is really noticeable. I have it yeah. here and it's just it's just there. And remembering the Odyssey Plus, I was like, what the hell? We're in 2023 and Odyssey Plus was what 219, well, 218. What blows uh, my just... mind to this day is that I feel like WMR was kind of like the the black sheep of of VR at the time. And to be fair, there was a lot of it poorly made WMR headsets, but yeah. people seem to not remember that there was some good ones. Like the Odyssey yes. Plus was fantastic. Yes. I think yes. Lenovo released one uh, a few and years those who, later that was actually- it, Lenovo Explorer good. was my one of the first, I, I call that headset Lenovo Explorer with the mm -hmm. flipping thing. Yep. It had it had 1.4K per eye by 1.4K per eye resolution, was which was pretty high at the time. Yeah. And I called it headset as a working horse. You yep. you know I dropped it I took it you connect to the PC in five seconds you're up and running it was the fastest like you know we use it in some um, uh, in some of the Nokia VR um, <laughs> yeah <Yes. laughs> yeah I mean it, it it is it it was a really working horse of the of the R for me you know when I was at home and I was just using the Odyssey Plus that's the headset I used and then when Shocking I uh, when I was when somewhere else it, and I needed quick it. it was a small headset right Boot so. It. So I just want to say the WMR was great, and also um, the the home environment which Microsoft did. Yeah. If you remember how you could use apps from your Windows machine and stuff like that in this beautiful home environment, they had something going. Like it was yeah. a very good I, environment. 
and they dropped the ball. Say, what yeah. happened? In in general general terms, I, I do not like Microsoft, <laughs> just because they don't really seem to do a lot of QA or testing anymore. They kind of laid off most of their team for that recently, anyway. But uh, one of the last things I think I saw that was a, a just full bred Microsoft product that I thought, wow, the team working on this actually thought through what they were doing and tested it was WMR's uh, everything. Honestly, even even just the um, the middleware that ran for it, while it was annoying that you had to have it open all the time to, to run yeah, the head, yeah, yeah. there was sure. no option for, for There direct. was a lot of bad things about this. Yeah, but yeah. the 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 way that it kind of worked and communicated with the headset, while it was annoying that it had to do it, it did work seamlessly. It didn't have many issues. I don't think exactly. there was a time I turned on my, um, my Odyssey Plus when I had it that it did, didn't just start working right away, yeah. right? I agree. I agree. And, so, and, and so, so, so imagine, imagine, because Odyssey Plus was again, I think 2018. Uh, imagine if Samsung mm -hmm. just continued to innovate in that space, right? Just continuing to like adding four cameras, um, making better controllers, yeah. making better screens, because they have the tech for the screens. They would just gonna, they would be the best headset, PC VR headset. Period. They could they could do it, but I think they the... just pivoted and they dropped the ball. They Completely. pivoted, and then I think even if they wanted to come back, because I see Samsung is doing some partnerships within the VR space now. Yeah, but the, that's more the... of a, we are scared about Apple Vision Pro. We have to announce something. Exactly, I think that's yeah. the press release. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's probably more really pushing that more. It's, but... it's not for VR, it's for reality. What Samsung will do possible. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They will copy, they'll but... copy Apple Vision Pro. They'll copy Apple Vision Pro. Everyone they'll try. Will. They'll try. Everyone I think one of the main reasons that they, that they made the Odyssey series at all was probably because of the lack of, and of course, there's still obviously tons and tons of development that go into the hardware itself, but kind of the, the logic that they didn't really have to worry as much about the software side of it. They didn't need to make their own suites or make it compatible yeah. with anything other than Microsoft's predefined design plan, right? Because yeah. that's kind of one of the things that WMR did well is that they said, hey, set it up to work with this and only this and we'll do the rest. And... Generally, they did. Okay, Every you guys continue to, talking. Uh, I'm bringing thing, Odyssey but... Plus here, okay? And we'll <laughs> Go for it. it. <laughs> and the headsets were actually pretty, um, pretty cheap as well, which is interesting. Oh yeah, there's Arthur yeah. going for Odyssey. <laughs> I got. Uh, I remember I got mine for even cheaper because I got it when I uh, uh, when I was in college a few years ago on Black Friday. I stayed up till 2 a.m. when the when the prices rolled over here for Black Friday on Microsoft Store, and they had it for like I think it was 40% uh, off or something like that. So why did they so, fail? And then? already, why did they fail? Good deal. Um, I would say it was just, it. it just didn't keep up with the rest of it. Like for yeah. instance, like I said, now I have an index and I, I would say that while the, while that headset, while the, yep, the Odyssey plus, um, <laughs> nice Vario, beats out bro. the index in certain things, <laughs> it doesn't beat it out in look, look, uh, look. field of view or look. even resolution. It yeah. AKG. AKG. AKG audio. Yeah. It had, it had great, great strap. Uh, for, for 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 this, it had yeah. it had really 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 good. Uh, of course, it had great good good ergonomics here. Uh, the face pad was really nice. But take um, that and put pancake and lenses or a spherical lenses on it. No, this is spherical. This 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 yeah, this yeah. is spherical lenses. This is spherical yeah. lenses. This is spherical lenses. Was it, so was it their version with a, a spheric? spheric? No, they, they didn't. didn't they do uh, it was Gear VR. It was Gear VR. Gear VR was yeah. a spheric lenses. Um. I, and I have it there as well. I might bring it up. But yeah, so <laughs> the looks of it was pretty good. Um, the microphones were good. The IPD adjustment was working great. The volume and everything. Very solid headset. Like, what, was this for Windows, Windows Mixed headset. Reality or for Windows? What mm -hmm. is yes. Yeah. yeah. It's Windows, uh, yeah, mixed, Windows reality. mixed Reality. Yeah. So. And yeah. here's the connection. You, get, you, you got HDMI and USB and that's it. Yeah. That's it is definitely, HDMI. yeah, yeah. It's last, it's last gen in a lot of ways. <laughs> Resolution yeah, was one of them, as mentioned. They had an update to try of and course. negate screen door effect, but it wasn't really getting rid of the screen door effect. It was just masking it. The the there just wasn't enough pixels, <laughs> so to say, the um, on reversed. the display. Yeah, the screen door yeah. effect on these things as well, Vive Pro, is so bad. Like yeah. I cannot ignore it. It's just these <laughs> lines. You see them, it's like... A, what, what headset are you talking about? Know, what headset are you talking about? The Vive Pro. The what's Vive what's Pro. the glare like? You know when you... I cannot... The Vive Pro, yeah, but... <laughs> but PSVR 2 is worse. PSVR 2 has this, like, 
Mura SDA fact, yeah. which is like pretty yes, bad. Yes, the is so it was so disappointing. I was so yeah. disappointed. I think everybody was disappointed about PSVR yeah. two. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. It's 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 unfortunate. Unfortunately, like we have it in the office. We played it for a couple of weeks when it came out, and then we never touched now it is, again. Is it, never. Is it, is it Mark? 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 Can, can you confirm? Can you confirm, no. Mark? No. Sorry. Like we never touched. Like Mark can confirm. We never touched it. We never touched it. We just it, never touched it. Is it the lens? Yeah, it's just catching dust right, right now. So I the resolution. Resident Evil Four VR. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, uh, by the way, Colin, you remember one thing? I just, I'm just reading the, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the, 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 the uh, specs of Odyssey Plus, and the resolution was two thousand five hundred sixty by one forty four, one thousand four hundred forty. Uh, but what I remember about that that uh, that display, and it confirms me, it had up to so normal brightness was 420 nits with yeah. up to 1,000 nits in HDR mode, and I do remember the colors just popped in your eyes. That was just so bright, so vivid, that it was just amazing. You remember that? That yeah, that yeah, it was. was Crazy. It was one of those weird experiences that I can only describe as if you really look for screen door effect, you could see it, but also yeah. the image was super sharp, despite being able to see screen door if you go looking for it. Did, it was kind of did, a weird balance. Did they, dis did, did they discontinue the... Uh, okay, that's Lenovo Explorer, by the way. That's yeah. Lenovo Explorer. <laughs> and the, the the funny part is you can flip like this, right? So you can yeah. do this. Super that handy. for that Lenovo did with a few of their headsets. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, and And again, Great uh, resolution of the Lenovo Explorer. Let me let me let me uh, uh, find it. But I think it was one thousand four hundred forty by one thousand four hundred forty per eye. Mm -hmm. So it was higher than Odyssey Plus. Um, it was so it was like two thousand eight hundred eighty mm -hmm. times one thousand four hundred forty. So that was high at that time. It was really good resolution. Yeah. The colors were nah, not that you know uh, vibrant um and uh yeah but but it was very light it was very light it's a small headset it's very light um uh, it didn't push you like your your face it was very comfy the halo the halo strap was was great and overall it's good um just a question colin do you think the is wmr uh ecosystem still running can i still plug the headset in it will work yeah sure, actually i don't know it it is even actually more built into Windows 11 than it was 10. While it's not included directly with the OS, it is as a Windows add-on. Okay, because add. I, as it we is... speak, I will test it again. I will bring that home today <laughs> and I'll plug it in. Yeah. And I want to play. The, I want to remember no, those colors. Besides... <laughs> I will mention yeah. that it is. It is. It has officially reached the same point that a lot of Microsoft products have, where it 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 is still there. It is still native to the OS. The OS has things that are updated for it and stuff like that, but it is being updated and not really tested all that well. So uh, to the point where when it works, it will work exactly as it did. In fact, even a little bit better performance wise, um, just because the middleware has gotten yeah. better, but um, it also can sometimes not work. <laughs> for instance, um, yeah, my buddy who I, the buddy yeah. who I inevitably sold my, my, um, my Odyssey plus two, just because I bought an index and didn't. Oh, really you had your buddy. Uh, Surprisingly, he actually is fine with it because he's used it like twice since he bought it and then never touched it again. So okay. at some point, I might just buy it back from him, honestly. But um, but uh, the thing is for oh, him... you should. It's, it's a collector, collector item. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. It was also $50. like, you know... I'll have it off here. It's nice, right? Just do that. <laughs> um, I feel like, what's happening? What's happening? Is there an but, update? <laughs> but yeah, no, for, for him, I remember when he had first connected it, that he, there was just a lot of general troubleshooting because it didn't like his 3070 it just black screened half the oh, time oh i he remember yeah there were, there, yeah. were, there were some problems i do remember that right yeah and it was just yeah. weird stuff and then it, it's stuff that's just like you can't find any documentation there's no known workaround nothing, and then one day nothing. it just started working and that's it yeah there were, it's just also if you remember arthur there were problems with odyssey insomnium as well um as in in the software like people with odyssey couldn't run somnium at some point, but then we fixed it. Yeah. I, rem I remember. I remember that it was fixed. But yes, there were those like some some suddenly Windows yeah. updated and everything stopped working, and, yeah. and we're it, like, "What the hell?" They just what update happened? things, and it it just doesn't go yeah. through enough validation because yeah. no one's really going to be affected things. by it at these days, right? It's not a big thing anymore. In fact, WMR itself as a standard, I believe, was discontinued um, from Microsoft. Like the the software side of it is all there, still works, and is being patched, but it's like 
just that. I don't think new partners can can create WMR headsets, at least as far as I can remember. Um, I think that was just continued a year or two okay, ago. G, G, G Manic is, I'm, I'm reading comments here, and G Manic is saying, my only concern right now for VR1 is how front heavy it looks. It looks, but it's not because it's thinner like this. And it, for you, so it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's, it's not that as wide as index, but it's also thinner. So it looks that it's front heavy. How is it compared? But to in terms of that ergonomics, that I can tell you that it's the way how it firmly seats on your face and how it will put the picture here. If you go to the blog post, you'll see how the, we've done the, the face cushion here. So it's kind of like it's wider. Um, and it really, really hug hugs your face. Um, it is really, it is really, manage. really I got, comfortable. I have skills to do that. I'm sorry. Okay, he has no skills. I have a question about this. Oh, come on, you could try. <laughs> I think I saw like the part that, that was on Somnium. Is it still going to be there? Like this, you know, hat top part? Well, yeah. Or... So we, we, it, it, will, it will be the stripe. It will be the stripe. It will be the stripe, not okay. the not the screen part, because what we found out also that the screen part is good, but it's it needs to be it it at some point. So it's easier to have this foam strap which offloads a lot of weight across the head, rather than just trying to find the right position for the thing and screw it in. And also, it sometimes mm -hmm. cause goes a little bit like wobbles a bit. So it was not the perfect, like it's okay, but it was not the perfect. The stripe just solves all the problems, literally. Like it just solves also, all the problems. Also with the, with the screwing thing, I think a lot of people are actually wearing like gaming headphones That's also to their true. headsets, right? That's also and true. It, it would, mm, yeah. it would it, it's just, it's it, it was okay. It was Apple, okay, it but it was not. It works. I have a, Air, a Vario Arrow and uh, I use uh, normal headphones because- I have it too. Uh, yeah, and you have also the, uh, in the front this uh, knob to um, screw. It works, but it's not. Sometimes it's not perfect. I would say. again, each headset is different, and we took the approach of what works perfectly for VR one mm -hmm. in terms of ergonomy and being. To me, the most important part is how well it is fixed to the face. So whenever I turn, I'm not losing anything. I need to. I don't need to readjust because readjusting yeah. for me is pain. I hate readjusting the headset. Like it's just I. I hate it, and I need the headset to be really well fixed, not push me anywhere. And whenever it's good, well, well fixed, the weight kind of goes automatically away because you just don't feel it. Because you start feeling a lot of weight if you're wobbling. You know, if it just moves with your head and you're moving one direction and it's continuing to moving this direction, then you move another. You know, this whole thing. So glue to your face edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Glue to yeah. We'll put the um the, the velcro. We'll give you the velcro part, and you just you just it's a one time use. You just put this to the face, and then when you <laughs> never un off. Unplug, and you, you can just never take log it off. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Cyber Cyber enhancement. <laughs> what about exactly. um Bubu VR strap solution? Because many people love the Bubu VR. Strap. Every every Quest Two strap will work with yeah. VR One strap. Uh, so with VR One automatically. Every, also, you can use point, whatever you want. A lot of people are probably will still prefer that because with you know not all not all head straps are made the same because you know every headset has different properties. But also, not everybody's heads made the same. There are a lot of people where a different type of strap is going to work a lot better. Absolutely. Than just saying, but that is why we will works. sell the headset without exactly. the strap. As well. so you just even use without, your own strap. If you so get in the strap, exactly you realize strap you don't like it after a bit. You if you want it with the strap, we'll sell you the strap. We yeah. have a strap, we'll sell it to you. But if you don't want, why would you why would you do it? Like yeah. you just buy yeah. the smaller package. You also, you're going you on my VR one, one you are. You're going on my VR <laughs> one. <laughs> oh no. If you do this, I'm, Soda, do I'm literally Standard I, I do something bad to you. I don't know. I, I do something bad. Unfortunately, I, I wanted to say I will shut down VR one remotely, but I cannot do it because we are open source headsets. So I was like, ah, Jesus Christ. I'm, I now I am on. jealous of Vario because they can shut down your headset remotely and I cannot. As I, as I remember, so I have many uh, VR HMGs in the past. Uh, mm -hmm. I like Bubu VR Trap. I have for Quest 3 now the new version, the M3 Pro. That's my favorite uh, strap for headsets. Then uh, next would be the Index. Uh, yep. And, and the last one would be from uh, Vario Arrow. I can tell you, I can tell you right away. VR1 works really, really good because we've tested all of them uh, with all of the straps, right? 
uh, because we wanted to validate that the, all the straps from Quest to work with uh, with. Oh, what is this here? What's happening? Disco, disco, stop! <laughs> Hello. Hello, iPhone. <laughs> okay, thank you, iPhone. iPhone. Apple, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs got nervous about the VR headsets. Uh, no, I wanted to say that <laughs> with us. So, Bobo VR works really good with uh, with uh, VR One. Um, the Kiwi Kiwi design Kiwi ones are working great with um, uh, Prime iPhone. <laughs> what Prime is this picture? Artwork forty eighty p. What is going on? You don't understand Do you the see me like this? Oh my god! editing I've got to make you look good. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> okay, say post. Okay, he will beautify me. Yeah. Beautify me. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. TV design works really great. Uh, Bobo VR works really great. Um, Elite audio strap. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Mm. What's. Mm. I think I've asked this before. Mm. I'm going to ask it again. What, what? audio solution audio strip? is coming with it? Yeah, no, for, for a VR1. Elite audio uh, strap for VR1 uh, works uh, perfectly. Okay. It's just. Because so well I done think together. the Meta uh, Elite Strap with the battery pack is... Uh, no, 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 please, so don't call this name here. Elite <laughs> Meta Strap is not very well done with Somni VR1. Okay, please, what don't use that with the Somni VR1. VR1? Tell me. Tell me. What? What speakers what are coming with VR1? What speakers, speakers are coming with VR1? But I want some nice... This oh. is... Uh, did you read the blog post? Oh, yeah. my God. I, I did, yes. He didn't but... read the... <laughs> Guys... <laughs> I wish you'd ban him. He didn't read the blog post. Go and read the blog post, Just then come me. back and ask questions. Just okay? tell me. No, I don't tell you. You what? go and read the blog post. What? What's the I lenses wrote like? It. I was writing it for several lenses? weeks, and you didn't read it. Oh, oh my god! What are the lenses like? How to get this PPD and this lens? <laughs> PPD. That's a good question yeah. because many VR enthusiasts, uh, it's a hot topic. Big, big the discussion about the third PPD on the XR4. And they compare against UART or U headset VR1 because you have 35 PPD, but the displays have lower resolution. Uh, but you have the same similar FOV like the um, XR4, uh, but the XR4 have, of course, more uh, higher resolution displays than the VR1. I'm just so... having the I'm just having the confirmation from our engineering team. Okay, I asked this because there was the PPD it's, PPD it's gate really in the Discord. PPD gate. It's a really hot topic on the. And everybody's like, oh my god, oh my god, it's a It's a really oh hot topic. And, 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 I, was, and I was like, guys, I I, I just messaged best. the engineers. I said, guys, like, uh, what 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 what, what is this? People are like, what what are they? Because we I don't think we have a problem, right? And 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 he said no, we we don't because we one second I I will read it in the uh, uh da, 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 and he says to me okay that's a different chat here guys um, we I don't have, have any limit oh, sorry I ha I have to say my goodbyes I wish you all a nice evening thank you for being with us I, um, man. yeah thank you, thank I, you for being with us it was yeah it was amazing. great that's the special episode will great. probably be great I hope people will love it uh, we'll, but thank you for being with us we'll, uh, we'll continue well. it's not something you see very often you can talk with the CEO can talk. <laughs> look he's I, there I, he look, exists I know Actually, I'm important human. I know thank you <laughs> tell the same as it, as it, as it, as it told. I wish that some Vaju CEO would be also in the Discord. <laughs> yeah, like I've never experienced this, so it's like something new and something experimental. I, you, you know, and, cool. and, and this is I don't do it because I have to do it. I do it because I love it, guys. I love to discuss these things with you. I love VR. And I built the VR one because I love freaking PC VR and I want to have, you know, I built a headset which I always wanted to own, period. Like, this is the headset I will use and I'm using and I will continue to use. Hell yeah. That's it. Like, this is a simple reason. There's no hidden agenda behind me, no investor standing behind me like, Arthur, you need to look like Apple, very serious organization because I can do whatever I want. We are, you know, <laughs> we are our own company and um, sorry, uh, if someone doesn't like it, I can Piss just off. say I'm sorry. That's how we are. Um, when some new VR one releases, we need a merge. Like okay, okay, okay. Some Someone says, Arthur, please like let us know what our engineer Something wrote. Okay, I wanted to read the message. So I okay, asked okay, him, like, guys, thank you, Archie. Bye. See, see you, Archie. Okay. I, I right. asked him, like, are we having a problem? What's going on here? PPD gate. People are going crazy. Oh my god! And he wrote to me, bro. He wrote to me, oh, no limitations that. as far as we know. Stereo mode can render easily 4.5k per eye for VR1 
Uh, but of course, for performance reasons, you would rather want to uh, use foveated rendering. But that's yes. the message I got from engineer. That's it. That uh, no PPD gate, please. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I, Can we call it PPD? Gate for now? PPD is um, not really a measure measurement for um, display display clarity or it, image clarity or yes. a, a image sh sharpness. It's more for people to make easier to understand this this resolution or exactly this, you cannot just sharper. again variox r4 has its own warping has its own uh, screens and its own lenses somni vr1 has different warping different lenses different screens different approach to things and but... you can differ so much in this in this category like there's different approaches to this because but... on paper you can be the same but then you look at the warping and it will be a completely different story uh yeah. inside there's many um, um, many <laughs> ingredients that uh, have an important role. But normally, if you have a much higher res a display, much, much higher resolution, so you can uh, get more FOV, but the same sharpness. So, but VR1 have also the same FOV, but the resolution is lower. So that's that's. The things that also so people don't understand, because uh, uh, XR4 have higher resolution to get the same image sharpness but a wider FOV. So yes, but it's you have to, to realize to when you say VR1 has a lower resolution, I have to cringe a bit because lower resolution is still <laughs> the highest on the consumer market. So so it's not that low. Uh, it's actually yeah, pretty it's high. Not it's not. It's not low. It's like like the similar to the um, crystal or the or the arrow, but of arrow course, has uh, lower resolution. Arrow has different bit, screens. Ar bit, arrow yeah. arrow uses completely different screens, and the biggest difference to me for Vario Arrow is um, brightness and the field of view. The brightness was 140 nits. It's not near enough. Uh, uh, or maybe even less um, than than what we have in, in VR1. It's, to me, it's, again, this, it's this is a deal breaker to me. It's bright, but mm, it can be brighter, of course. This, for me, the deal breaker by the arrow is, of course, the FOV because it's really small. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> depends on how, how much do you get on uh, how much do you get on arrow. I I have by the arrow when it was released. So the the yeah, but how much how much uh, the FOV you are getting? As, oh, oh, uh, I don't know. I have to remember that. I think I, the arrow have the problem. I think the arrow have horizontal, vertical. It's a little bit less on the arrow, as I remember. And the horizontal is more, but it's not much. It's, it's similar to the Quest. Quest so, 2. Cyber, people. someone is asking, is, are you Marco from MRTV? <laughs> huh? Are you, uh, someone is asking if you are a Marco from MRTV. Do you know who it is? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, Mark. I'm also on the new VR tech. Uh, you are server. not him, right? Because someone is th th someone thinks you're him. No, no, I'm not Mark. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I'm, no, no, no. It's but, the German uh, accent, sir. That's why someone saw. Yeah, okay, German accent. As he says, in an, an Italian I'm, accent. I'm, I'm on him, uh, his, uh, his uh, Discord server, of course. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So yeah, I mean the the the. I did measurements, um, Somnium VR1 next to Pi, and the same software, uh, Pimax Crystal and Vario Aero. I don't remember exactly Vario, but I think I got like something around 80 vertical and 90 yeah, yeah, something. It's normal. So it's, yeah, it's, it's very low. On the, Pimax, it, I remember exactly, I got 102 horizontal, like anywhere between 100 and 102 horizontal. Yeah. And on VR1, when I when I really try and I put it, I when I wear it like the way I want to wear it, um, so oh, my eyes are very lenses. close to lenses. Yeah, um, I'm getting 126 to 128. When I'm not trying, I'm around about 122, 24. That's, uh, that's that's my that's my field of, that's my field of view of uh, VR one. Though you know, it might differ. I'm a 64 PPD guy. Okay. Uh, sorry, IPD. I'm, I'm 64 IPD I'm guy. 68, um, it will differ. It will differ from the IPD, the the, the, the IPD you have. Like well, this, have is, more, this is this is no, this I'm is normal for everybody, by the for every headset. Need to know. It will differ. It will differ. Um, um, because because, because have... just if you have a very small IPD, you might get it just a a little 
uh, smaller uh, field of view. If you have to know. higher than yeah. 64, you might get a bigger, uh, bigger so field of view. Slightly again, it will more differ field of view plus than you. minus six degrees or something like that. I'm 68. Uh, 68. Look at these white boys. I'm got more. Field 68 of view. and 70. You'll probably be even more advantageous than me. So again, <laughs> we also allow you to render. We allow you to render. 70. Um, to decide how much FO, how much FOE you want to render. Sorry. Um, and if you know that your your if you will let's say you will set set in our tool you will set the render resolution of uh, 130 degrees um, uh, horizontally, and you will measure your IPD and or IPD and uh, for FOV, and you will find out that you can't see more than 120. Then you just lower the the uh, the rendered FOE, and you will also kind of save your performance because you will not be rendering things which you don't see anyway because of your eye structure, Sense. for example. So that will you be able to do in in, uh, in VR1. 74, 74 and 69, like oh. this, will, you'll have a good nice. good field of view. Like with this with this measure, like anywhere 64 probably up, like 63 to 65, it's like perfect. And then high, like I think lower might, might suffer a bit. Like if you are 60 or 58, there you probably will get a bit less uh, FOV. Um, then, then like I get at 64, but it also depends how close you'll be to the, it's, there's a lot of things. Again, it's very personal. The IPD in VR1. Guys, no, it's, it's, no, do you know it's, what it's, I done with my arrow? Yeah. I have, Sorry? do you know what, what I done with my arrow to get more, a little bit FOV? I removed the original uh, face cover from the arrow. Also, I don't like the face cover. <laughs> um, I take the face cover off from the index. Uh, removes uh, from the, <gasps> the shell only Frankenstein the mode. The, yeah, only from the face cover, only the face cover, the, and uh, slapped it on the arrow. <laughs> okay. Oh my days. Okay. Is okay. Else in the, uh, you you in see, the you see, this is also interesting. I have to complain. Can I rent a bit? Can I? Yeah. Am I, I mean, no one's going to stop. Yeah. Yes, yes. Crack on. The, exactly. Uh, the, a lot of people complain in in our Discord. Not complain. They care so much. So first of all, they completely drill the hole in my head about the price, and then they and then the same people What's say, oh, anyway, I don't care. I'll buy it for any price." I was like, "What the hell? Why did we discuss it for two right. days, yeah, and now you say me I'll buy it for any price?" Thing. That's number Ooh. one. And number two, number two, number, two's number two. Okay, people tell me like, "Oh my god, what about the counterweight and this millimeter That's here? And price. you need to put it there, and you need to move this, and this has to be this, and that has to be that, and has that. Oh, I'm I'm seeing a little bit of sickness here and there. Yeah. And might. then they show their headsets, which is like a Frankenstein thing with all the batteries and cables hanging, and one slept on another. It's just complete madness. And I'm like, what are you telling me? Look at your headset. It's probably like a brick on your head with a brick on top, and you are complaining about VR one being a little bit sick or whatever. Freaking! I'm out. Oh. Curious. Just go reset, Grandad. He's out. He's on one again. Get, get, yeah. Has he, has he, he, has he had his pills today? There he is. <laughs> what <laughs> pills? No, I don't yeah, take I those pills ate anymore. Ate too much of the <sighs> cake. The pills in front of uh, your you quest. I need some water. Okay, I need some water. Need a bottle, bottle of water. water. I'll there be back. Said it for everyone. A bottle of water. A bottle of water. The, bottle the only thing the British are known for is bottle of liquid. Ah! Gotta do it, gotta do it. <laughs> I hate VR. Just e I sent every you VR a game I go to. It's how just... it's look, my Frankenstein, Frankenstein arrow. <laughs> it's oh. really funny. I'm just saying something. I'm just saying something now. My, my, my train, <laughs> train of thought just disappeared. Thinking of a really <laughs> dodgy looking uh, arrow. Oh. Uh, what headphones do you use here, arrow? Okay. Any other top? Oh, I wanted to show you all. I'm I'm preparing because I have a YouTube channel which is called Arthur Tech Tales. If you're not subscribed, you don't exist. So you have to subscribe now. Should I can you post the link in the chat so that they subscribe? I think they're all subscribed already, but in case they're not, we just need to post. Let, let's let's chill. Let's chill. A chill pause. You can chill all you want. Elevator sweetheart. music. Hang on. But but um, I want to show because I'm preparing. <laughs> the price. Um, I have some thoughts. <laughs> it's it's not only about the uh, you know the the, the chance mainly about VR, of course, but um, I also want sometimes to discuss things which, you know, I use and I want to discuss the smartwatches because I I own quite a bit of smartwatch and I used in the past. And uh, recently I bought to try uh, the, oh, the state of VR optics best YouTube video in 2023. Thank you. Uh, I think it's an amazing video, by the way. Um, Arthur Rubner is genius. Uh, but 
There's a watch. I want to show you something. Has it got built-in Steam VR tracking on that watch? Better, better, mm. almost, almost, almost. He put, put Tundra tracker on. <laughs> almost, almost, almost. Okay. Put okay. in there. No. Okay. Wait, so this is a Huawei watch. Huawei, you said this... it right. Huawei watch. Huawei watch. Okay. I Beautiful watch. Beautiful watch. Leather, real leather. Okay. Beautiful watch. Yeah. Amazing. But, but what I can do here. What I can do here, I can press this button and it has earbuds inside. And it has four days of battery life, full watch with all the cal things and active cancel noise cancellation buds. And by the way, those buds, they don't have right and left. You put them in the ears and they automatically know where is the right and the left. They have algorithms to calculate that. Like within three seconds, they know it. And they and they adjust stereo to, to that. That is Freaking, like, are you kidding me? Like, this is crazy. I remember Huawei, I look internet, up, uh, this. No, I didn't, no. It was, Huawei's it was back. back uh, <laughs> it was back before all the controversy, if I remember correctly, that that, was, that watch came out. And I remember they were releasing all kinds of things that you'd look at it and you'd go, wow, this is uh, significantly more high tech than some of the other phones or yep. things being released. But then they just kind of vanished when they got hit with. All of yeah, the, the, the sanctions, Google but now they do cars. Right? Now they do car. By the way, we'll slap yeah. the car here. This is the Huawei car, which mm -hmm. they do right now. It's called Avatar. Guys, <laughs> oh, this I is the car, which looks. Yeah, yeah it, no, it's not a concept. It's a selling car for $50,000. It looks yeah, like I from just, 2070. Just... It looks like from 2070, literally. I'll post I'd a picture here. I only seen it when I'll it post... was a concept. I didn't know it actually came out. It's... That's crazy. It's already selling, and it's really, really, really good. One second. I will. Avatar car. Is it blue? Is it really tall? If not, no, I don't, I don't want it. No, 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 no. Avatar. You got a gear stick. Car. Is it electric? Ooh, Does it fly? Oh my god! Wait, 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 one second. Can you go in? Can you go in the That'll come in, in the an, up, that'll come in an update. Boat. Shoulda. Sorry. <laughs> this. Over the air update. You'll you'll get it. Uh, it'll be a paid <laughs> add-on for the car. Yeah. Yeah. Eight thousand dollars in a few years. It'll start flying. Oh. Th this is the car. This is the car. Copy image. Wait, can I copy image? I copy image and let's put it in the chat. Looks like that's, I think, that's I think, Mercedes. That's I think this one car. From, uh, no, this is Mercedes. Yeah, this is Mercedes the car. Avatar, this is the yeah. car for fifty k, uh, which they are selling. Which they are selling right now. This this is the car. That looks like a Tesla. It looks, looks a little bit like a Tesla. <laughs> Sorry to say that. <laughs> mm. I I find it looks a lot more like uh like Hyundai's um electric cars. Because a lot of their really? newer electric cars, like the Ionic. Mattia cars, says, I prefer uh, mine. Mattia, what case. car do you drive? Tell us, tell us, what car do you drive? I think he might mean the Mercedes Benz Avatar. He drives a Volkswagen <laughs> Golf, doesn't he? Oh, okay, the Mercedes Benz. But the Mercedes Benz is a concept which will never see the light of the day. This is the car you can drive, you can buy today. That's the biggest difference. Above this Mercedes is, I think, in far future. 2050 or something like that. <laughs> I love Neo is great. Neo is amazing. I agree. Neo is great car manif I I saw Neo in Prague. Um, there's not so many cars, but I saw one Neo uh, in Prague, and it's and it's and it's really good. Oh my God, Shoda, <laughs> we always want to have it before like below two hours. We're already at two hours and ten minutes. Like this is this is like this. I guess that's this you know our timing. That, that's how that's, we roll. That's how long we can last. Two hours and ten minutes. Oh, now all the. Anyway, I won't comment. <laughs> no, say it. Um, <laughs> no, I won't say it. I'm quiet. I'm quiet. I mean, I checked. By the way, I checked our channel. Our channel. There were zero women watching our channel. Okay, zero. <laughs> zero. Like literally, like male, hundred percent. I mean, you're the host. They're all for you. So you blame me now. You blame me now. Arty Tech. You blame me now. Didn't say Arty Tech. Arty Tech. It says Arty. They're all there for you, sweetheart. All them men. Oh, I get it. <laughs> okay. Any other news we want to discuss this? Uh... Neo is this company that uh, you can uh, remove your battery pack and exchange for a full battery pack, I think. But By the way, I'm reading the news. For certain, you need to... There's something I can do for you. So you you want a biggest surprise of the week? Meta pauses Quest 3 Elite battery strip sales amid widespread charging. Yeah, I fall. told you before that. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Well done, quality assurance team. You know, it'd be well really done. good news, Arta. You know, it'd be amazing news. Yeah? You're going to hate me for asking this. What's the price? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it was also okay, a I, really okay. expensive... Uh, if you I finally, your mind. I finally, I fi I'm finally ready to tell you the answer. You're not here. I'm finally ready to tell you the answer. The price will be outstanding. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'll try... I'm trying my best to like get it out of him. He's not outstanding to uh, XR4 <laughs> or outstanding to uh, big screen be, uh, beyond or outstanding to oh, crystal. Yeah, I told you already it would be more expensive <laughs> than big screen beyond. This already a known thing. Okay. I told you it, it, it won't be less than one. <laughs> exactly. But look, look. I reserved, I it, reserved the full kit with eye tracking, hand tracking, uh, uh, for VR rendering. Uh, um, what was in, also in that the, is the only model you uh, need pass through pass through yeah 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 and uh that will be of course the most expensive variant of all of those of course, yeah. um <laughs> the but... cheapest <laughs> what are you laughing <laughs> captain obvious here captain obvious speaking I, I like Let... to play with uh, mixed reality uh like um said it pretty done is with vr chat where you can you oh yeah yeah i mean us through... in your home environment i like it so People don't understand that. how good the pass through on VR one is. It's just, you don't get it, guys. You don't get it. Like the through the lens videos, which I filmed like this, holding the headset, like trying to film it and wobbly because my phone was like this. No, 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 no. When you'll see it with your eyes, that's when you'll understand. Like, um, like whoa, okay, okay, that's how the pass through should be. Um, so that's and because also you have to realize. The 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 way how the your Mac will sleep soon unless they plug in. Ooh. Oh Ten no! He's not gonna make it. We're gonna lose him to battery. Uh, it, he's just he's just gonna tell us the price. He's gonna tell us the price. Wait wait wait, Mac's wait, wait. Gonna ASMR. Die. Gonna die. He, he, he doesn't he doesn't know about um noise isolation in Discord. It's okay. We, we are totally to, not we are it. totally not sponsored by Anchor. <laughs> Is that Anchor Power Core? <laughs> It's amp and it's anchor with the with the screen showing me how much power I got. It's actually a really good uh, good package. It has USB A and two USB Cs with uh, sixty watt output. Man, Amazing. sixty watt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Am I charging? Am I charging? A hundred and twenty. Why you want that amount of power in the? In hey, your hand? phone can only take forty five. So what is hundred twenty four? My my, uh, my Jarme can do hundred twenty watt. Zero to hundred. Your Xiaomi. Ten... Well, which Xiaomi did you buy? Because you had Motorola, which failed on you because it won't it didn't want to live with you. That I'm phone. Not, I, just I don't want to talk phoned. about phones. No, why not? <laughs> show me. Show, show us close to the camera. What is this? What is it? What is it? You not see the? Can you not see the crack on it? What the hell is happening? Amazing. What did you do to it? Why did he you abuse your phone like this? So now phone. I've got this one instead. What is this? What is this? What is this? Show us. Show us. Show that's, us. That's eleven T Pro, and that's a twelve T. And they both can do 120 watt charging. Or... Guys, guys, quick, 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 quick thing. What Piss phones off. do you? What phones do you use? What phone? What phones do you use, guys? What phones do you use? Uh, I moved from uh, Fold to Galaxy uh, Google Fold, Pixel Fold. I I'm have, on a Google uh, Fold, Fold three. Oh, Fold three is here. I, I, uh, I'm literally uh, discontinuing this phone in phone several days. I'm exist. moving to Fold five. Fold... Yeah, because you don't know how to use them, Shota. You don't I know flip how it to use and it them. Cracked. Maybe yeah, but that's your older. problem. Uh, okay, anyone else? Like, Which phones do you use? I'm uh, I'm just rocking an iPhone yeah. 11 until it dies. So. It? iPhone 11. Oh. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, uh, uh, Artific, What was what iPhone is yours? iPhone? Which which? Yeah, it's a, yeah, I don't know. Uh, some cheaper one. Uh, older one, iPhone um, 4. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Cheaper one, I, I, older I, I, one. I, I, like it reminds me of a description yeah. when you ask the girl, like, what car do you drive? It's like blue. <laughs> okay. Yeah. These like uh, what? What iPhone do you have? Yeah, it's an older uh, one, cheaper one. It's like all right. It, uh, it has a fingerprint sensor yeah. on the on the home I, button. I, I was really never really impressed with it. So yeah, okay, S twenty three plus. Here we have one plus, one plus. Okay, one plus family, but one plus. Now I should tell you which car he drive. <laughs> <laughs> I had one plus one, and as an invite, I was one of the first who had that phone. At that time, it was amazing. 
it was amazing uh, for one plus so one. Uh, Chinese friends, so I know every Chinese phone is terrible to know that. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm so I'm I'm the fold guy. I'm I'm rocking iPhone 15 Pro and a Google Pixel Fold. I'm kind of best of two worlds uh, for for the phones, in my opinion, because Google Pixel is a good phone. Um, the software optimization is. What's uh, up? Are your opinion about the Google Fold uh, version? I think it's great. I think it's great. Um, I think I'm just very angry on Samsung because their software became so buggy. Um, and I. I like Google because I also have the Google Pixel Buds and the kind of connection between the ecosystem is great. And Google has um, like the form factor of Pixel Fold because it's like a book. It's not the yeah, tall yeah, yeah. same thing. You you use it really, yeah, in-screen fingerprint is great. Uh, you use it like really nice because it's a good aspect ratio. It's kind of like a book, a notebook. So yep. it's good. It's I, I really like it. I, I'm enjoying it. And it really feels premium and I'm a no-case guy. So uh uh, I like the Google Pixel with without the case, so that's that's good. Marek is rocking Realme. Uh, Realme is an amazing company. Great Real phone. Realme GT2, yeah. Is that what Realme you told me GT2 is... Oh, you should get the newest Realme. The newest Realme with 120... No, 200 watts charging. Zero oh, to oh, zero to 100 in eight Nobody minutes. Nobody needs that. <laughs> Nobody needs that, really. But I think then the battery will uh, earlier die. Nope. <sighs> Not true. I had the real me's for for a long a long time. I've had and this one Mark, is your battery dying? Two years and it's it's battery still fine on it. it, it zero to I remember Mark. I remember Mark. We were going for lunch and he was telling me like, "Oh man, I feel like my battery is it's getting worse." I'm like, "Oh, I suggested you to buy real me. It cannot be true. I, I I never had problems. I'm like, how much better do you get? He's like, yeah, it's only one and a half days. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> I get a day. I'm getting I'm... half a day in my S23. Like, I'm a what full is brightness going on nerd because I can't see anything. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it used to be two to three days, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two to three days? Uh, what do you have your brightness on? 10%? It's... It's... I can't see my text, uh, but my battery life is great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends what you have on your phone. Many apps uh, that's used for many apps notification. It's, okay, Mark, uh, what apps do you use on your phone? Why is it dying so fast? Grindr. What do you install? <laughs> Shoda, have we met in there? I think so. <laughs> Were you the one who asked me for fake pics? Hang on, let me have a look. Oh my god. Okay, guys. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not sending you feedback. Unless you bring very quickly some very interesting topic to discuss, we might be running out of steam here. Oh, yeah. Steam. 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 Okay, super. Wait, wait. Artific has super important question. Okay. I have super important question to Shoda. So, why are you going back to Hyperdash so we can destroy you again? I'm never playing that game with you ever again because my blood Hyper pressure. Dash, it's fun to play. Oh. Went through the roof. Hyperdash is amazing. By the way, <laughs> we so play good. a lot You're of so times to play it. Hyperdash. Um, uh, all together, and you can very often find us if you go to Hyperdash at half past ten every day. There is a this is the name name of the game which we I always set up. Uh, yeah, it I will is put good. It in the it chat. Is, it's super um, addictive and it's one of the best. Just fast paced VR. Yeah, this shooters. is this is the name you search for. This is the name. It's always open, and you come there and you will see us just rolling and you having might, incredible amount of fun. Who knows? We might be recording. You never know. You yeah, exactly. We might be recording. And I need a video of me smashing Artifik after that. After it, he embarrassed me so bad. He's so good. Yeah. He's too good. I'm still waiting for you to come back. Uh, By the way, Artifik, also, your your uh, microphone again sucks. I don't know where is uh, your. Yeah. Is it is it better like this? Yes, yes of course. Uh, you have to I'm hold back, your headset, you have to almost kiss it, man. That's how. Just... You, should... oh, okay, you were saying yeah, about awesome. something how I'm going to beat you with Hyperdash again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, okay, you let's to, play, let's to play Hyperdash today. Are we on? Let's play Hyperdash today. I because we'll yeah, finish. Yeah. Wait, I think I have a call in some at some time. Business call. One second. This is with hello. US. I'm businessman. And this is the call. Uh, one sec. <laughs> one sec. One sec. What is what the day today is? It's it's Wednesday. No, it's Thursday, Thursday no. right? Thursday. Wait, Thursday. I'm checking. I'm checking my calendar. One second, guys, because I'm afraid I might. You got a meeting right now, like Into twenty minutes ago. Time. Yeah. It's already 20 minutes late. Yeah, this is the cool. classic. I did that earlier today when I forgot I had a meeting this morning. Let's get too excited. Oh, uh, that's fine. I can I can I can miss that. I can miss that <laughs> meeting. To be honest, I can miss that meeting. Um, I'll probably okay. So, 
because what will happen is right now it's like 10 p.m so i'll probably go go home yeah and uh which will because you know we're still in the office um uh so i'll drive home and probably like somewhere at half past 10 like in 40 minutes from now i'll start that game in hyperdash it's a free game downloaded in vr standalone pc whatever um and just join and find that game and join us you will have fun I just be on you. the same team as artifact because he hyperdash now mixed reality no, no. Okay. Yeah, you won't be able to play that mixture unless you got I'm a sure warehouse um... with rails and the maps exactly the same. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> last, last, last bit, last bits of news. Come on, big, whatever we did, well, what we did the, discuss. The steam, the steam news is the biggest. It happened yeah, now. So the... The yeah, it's the same news was the biggest. Uh, it's the game changer from someone. That's it. Yeah, pretty much right as soon as you guys started, uh, it, it, <laughs> it was announced that it, it happened and. Uh, the only thing I was trying to type there, I guess, when I when I right joined, was uh, the the reference to there there potentially being a dongle for it. Kind of leads also to the thought that uh, uh, it, it does make a lot of sense for for Valve to do this because, as as you guys mentioned, they make a lot of money on their games. That's where yeah. that that's kind of where Valve's um, money is is just in the store, and that's yeah, that's kind of yeah, where the stuff. So yeah. even with the yeah. for example the index um, where they were selling that, they they weren't really. I guess trying to make a whole bunch of money off of the headset because they make a whole bunch of money off of you using the headset as well as kind of integrating their whole ecosystem. And then people have just been creating new devices on, on Lighthouse all this time. So they didn't really have an immediate need to because people were still buying their games. And then people with quests were, were using, you know, virtual desktop or Airlink, God forbid, um, to, to play those games as well and, and get access to the store. So the VR link coming out, um now as opposed to all times i mean right now it's probably because there's a vr sale next week on steam <laughs> for those unaware of steam vr next fest starts next week there you go news a bunch of yeah. VR games sale, so but, it's, it'll, it'll have gone um, by now but i hope you bought some good games it hurts the pot <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah so that's kind of probably why they did this now for the meta headsets is because hey now you can easily buy games on steam and natively play them but um, the other thing to consider with it is that if, if they're releasing this, which um, also a slight correction of what was mentioned earlier, currently it, at least as of the descriptions and the way it's written, the only streams from the local network for Steam VR games. Yeah. Um, for other types of streaming, like remote play together and stuff like that, all you do need is an internet connection, but that's only for playing flat screen games with other people. I want to throw so out no some cloud VR stuff, to, if it works out right. If they exactly. have that properly, then that's going to be... It leaves them the option to do that. And the reason it's even more of an option to do that in the future, it, or even just internet streaming from your own PC, for example, if, if you're traveling or something, but um, the the main thing about it is the, rather the lack of overhead that's included with it. Because from, from VR Link itself, they have kind of not straight from compositor to the network, but it's a hell of a lot closer than having to run middleware between the two. Um, or rather, it is its own middleware, but it's kind of, you know, um, the same people making the solution running the game is the same people who are making the solution to stream it. And that opens a lot more possibilities, especially if they do release a dongle of some kind. Because <laughs> then you also just don't have to deal with the traffic issues. And, well, Meta released a dongle for Airlink a while ago, and I don't, I don't know if you guys have heard differently, but I heard it did not really work <laughs> very well, at least. Um but just the idea that uh, that you can have something straight from Valve to stream directly from their software, mm -hmm. from Steam VR itself, um, which is running the games in its own compositor, uh, keeping everything separate from whatever operating system you're running. It allows them to do all kinds of things, including, you know, people have, you mentioned earlier, maybe you could um, use your Steam Deck as a streaming device for a standalone headset. Um, in theory, is something that the power of a Steam Deck probably could stream perfectly fine as long as it had the ports to do so, which is the yep. current problem. Is yep. That yep. It doesn't have the ports or the encoder to do so. Um, exactly. But if it did, you could have a similar device where it was, you know, buy a standalone headset for, for cheap and, I don't know, if you just have... Uh, Almost like the PlayStation Portal, uh, but for VR, essentially. Exactly, yeah, mm. as a just dedicated point. You know, something to connect to, and that—that's kind of all it really would need to be. Oh, if it does um, that, oh, if it—if it does that, right? we, we spoke about it here first, boys. If it does that, yeah, yeah, or even one of the things, and this was—I uh, briefly put it there, but in 
and of course keep in mind here patents are not reliable per se they they give an idea but they don't give what's actually happening so you know this is something that was yeah that as, exactly. uh, as like a side text in one of the patents that they had filed uh, from valve at one point this was uh, about a year ago now um is they had mentioned you know potentially space in in the back of a certain head strap patent um where you could theoretically host a small computing device which if you know you're going off to something like the uh, the apu on a steam deck something of a similar uh, power that would be I able to stream it's things but it's it's mounted... sharing computing yeah oh yeah the split compute that's that was another thing too having a uh, uh tracking and a similar like compute done on the headset but then all the rendering for something done on a separate compute unit yeah so there's quite a few ideas that kind of make that make a bit more sense with VR Link. Um, though, yeah, exactly. I'm going to say it is. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to get it on my face. Pretty and out of the, it's pretty out of the blue from Valve, I would say, other than Steam VR Fest next week. But uh, there's definitely a bit of question as to, other than just trying to sell more on Steam VR Fest to, to Quest users. It's one thing I hate uh, about Valve is that they're, an so, interesting time. they're so secretive. No, no one knows what they do. Right? Which is good and about yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, but... one of those. Yeah, it's like knowing knowing that uh, they were doing something with VR Link I for a long time, but not knowing what Alex or when, <laughs> and then it just came out, right? It just appeared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, well, I think so... that's um, that has been a, a very <laughs> long <wonder>. podcast. <laughs> I wonder what headset that Gabe Gabe is Gabe is daily driving. He's he's daily driving yeah. CV one, and he he's an OG. Makes you wonder what they're cooking. Arthur, you can't uh, send for free. Uh, we are one <laughs> for him. <laughs> I can. The only question is, will I? The no, only question is, why? <laughs> I can do whatever I want, <laughs> but will I do it? That's the, that's, that's the second question. So I might. Steal all your might. ideas. Special, special DHL box. <laughs> Especially for Gabe from Arthur. <laughs> exactly. Here's exactly. your index just... two, sir. <laughs> I've already done it for you. Exactly. You want an index two? You Here got you it. Go. No problem. I got it covered, man. I got it covered. <clears throat> I, as I think, I remember I, uh, Apple used for their uh, Vision Pro development uh, also Vaggio Arrow uh, HMDs. I think it was uh, via, via XR3. No, oh, they 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 tested all of them, including the engineers' headsets as well. I think they will also test your HMD. <laughs> they 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 um they they they, they did test X styles and Varios and everything, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I think we should so... um maybe do this once every two months, a month, like a big community thing. It's quite the good. community, yeah, for yeah. sure. Like we, I, I I love it. It it was amazing. Come on, it's it was nice to chat to a very entertaining a episode. You know. Personally, I'm yeah. interested on the Vision Pro, not as a gamer, I, more like a device for everyone. Like um, um, it will be reality. amazing. It will be amazing. But I don't know I... when it's come to Europe. So <laughs> it will be so good. It will be so good. I have a lot of love for for Vision Pro. I think it's also good. helpful that uh, Apple likes to set standards for things intentionally or unintentionally. So while they are late to the game, sometimes once Apple does something, a lot of companies have to do at least that feature wise so for him. example and it seems I... and it seems to me they they spent so much time developing it yeah. but they really nailed the things which are normally annoying on other headsets exactly. and they understand it because they've tested all of them and they said okay if this works great this is horrible and let's mm -hmm. fix this let's and they just took their time There's and of course things, yeah two things that i don't yeah. like on the vision pro the a small fov as well that was the critics that Watch, watch the think... watch the optics video which I recorded with Arthur. Literally, and <laughs> you will understand. No, no, but you will understand why it is. The, yeah, there is a physical yeah. limitation yeah, of what you can do with today's screens. Yeah, you just no. cannot do more. And no. uh, the other problem is why you have why is the battery pack is not built on on the headset itself. Why mm. you have to? Use I the think they have much. Than... No, they want you to be. Uh, they want you to to kind of get used to a something being down there because yeah, today but... is better back tomorrow it could be compute unit and yeah. that's that's the difference so they want you to be used to it that's i think why they yeah. did it um i'm not sure with apple more that they, they bring the next version of vision pro <laughs> 2025 not not earlier than 2025 not earlier it has to be two years that's... because 
2024, it's the first year they will be selling it and they need to have one cycle. They will not release 2024 at Apple event. So either we get it in March 2025 on the GDC or WWDC, or we're getting it with the iPhone event in 2025 in September. That's also, my that's my bet. Also, I read, I think they work also on the cheaper version, basically. Yeah, they do, they do, obviously, but for, for, they will not release it in the next, for, like, one and a half years. Something $2,000, something like that. So basically, very cheap. Huh? Very cheap. The emoji icon front display is missing, and but the important stuff is also built in. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, Apple will be, I think it will be good. I think it will be good. Um, and it will definitely push. I, I wrote a tweet uh, today. I think every I podcast has myself. mentioned rimming it some way. It's gonna, it is going to be great. It just really is. Yeah. yeah. There's no, there's no, I think I wrote the tweet, which actually got a lot of, oh, 12,000 views already. The tweet. What the hell? 100 likes. You're I said Apple will eat, uh, Apple will eat current VR standalone manufacturers alive and will push everyone to innovate and pivot hard. Once the first users start to, to try them in the stores, it will put the standards and the bar so yeah. high for other manufacturers. They'll have to raise the price and they'll have to follow. It will be no question about it, but it um, will take them so much time to follow. It, um, it will I be hard. I think Steam Link is also also an iPad and iPhone. So it's possible that Steam Link will be also for the Vision Pro. So you can stream locally mm. your VR games or from the mm. cloud. That is the other thing that came to mind there was that uh, when they're releasing this for, for Meta, just the fact alone that the VR Link driver was added to Steam VR, it, it added like a full fledged headset driver, more or less. But yep. uh, it is not just for Meta. That's just what it's been released for right now. The standard. I mean, Steam Link works on Mac OS, itself, right? Yeah, it works on Mac OS. Yeah, so, so it's one of those things where it's like you know, VR uh, Steam I Link itself, the price goes up. <laughs> not considering VR Link, is already a pretty flushed out solution. So imagining them adding just VR support to that, they could add it to in Steam theory Vision, any, Vision any Pro device they could. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Then suddenly, Vision Pro will be the best gaming device ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This this One would be amazing. That is, be... Uh, is that uh, Apple won't allow apps to access the Vision data, so you'd never. But get but Vision Pro, it. they don't have controllers. The Vision Pro, they don't have controllers. Yeah, that's, also, that's, that's that's head tracking, but we don't know how good the head tracking. Yeah. No, is but hand tracking, game. you need to. You, the games are not ready for that. I yeah. think the, yeah. At that point, you hit a difference of you. Uh, you Solution. might be able to, but maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might not have like mobile videos. gaming. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mattia writes, buy VR one before the price goes up. Okay, buy, buy. Is there anywhere to order? Oh, there's no button to buy yet. Didn't you guys so... hear? Every time we ask how much it is, that's when the price goes up. Stop <laughs> it! Yes. It's now, it's now yes. five yes. grand. Yes, I right. make more money every time. You... Please ask me what the yeah. price is, because I'm like every time you ask, I'm just one euro more. One euro more. How Can you imagine? Price, how much is the price? Go how up and calculate price, how, much how much time did you price. ask it already. <laughs> but you, you, I still remember, yeah. I think, sadly, uh, um, in, in one video from him told that uh, Valve and Apple basically work together. Maybe there will be a coll collaboration that you can also play games from Steam with controllers on the Vision Pro. Possible. So that's, I, that's I don't the believe other that thing as be. well. I, I don't think that's something that they're going to do, but but the the thing is as well is that valve is the one who created the lighthouse tracking drivers alongside i think htc originally but um a lot of the software side steam vr all the way through it has all been valve so if they're the ones implementing their own solution if there is something that lets you use um something without needing say continuous calibration or something like that whether it's quest or or vision pro it would probably be added to VR link in Steam link, um, if anywhere. So, you know, for that you need a controller. Yeah. For the Vision Pro, you need controller. Yeah. Like Arthur says. Apple themselves doesn't want to make any, apparently, but. but Yet. Um, I mean, what, they probably they want yeah. to sell you a lot of things of course, together with but, Vision Pro, but, but yet, not, yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Yeah. But the other thing as well is that it also depends. I mean, Vision OS. Um, you know, Vision OS development is a thing that you can do right now, but they're not also super in depth on some of the things that it exposes or doesn't expose. Um, you can develop for a lot of the things that they've exposed already, but one of the things with it is, if I recall correctly, Vision OS is more like a very heavily modified iPad OS, yeah, um, as it's opposed to a heavily modified Mac OS. But yeah, and um, by the way, I was disappointed because the only brings a uh, 
I, um, iPad or iPhone OS to Vision Pro. I expect it. I mean, to when you say only, it's still better than anything out there for VR. Yeah. So, uh, but ex so. I was expecting more from Apple since we do something new, amazing. I <laughs> mean, sorry, the Vision but, Pro. Uh... <laughs> again, I, I think I have really high hopes for the. Yeah. Uh, so, and again, I'm recording all my videos right now in spatial, just. Ma making sure that I have those um, those moments and memories with the kids and yeah. stuff in a in a in a stereoscopic you know 3D videos, because that's where, you know, that's the holy grail. And from for my use case, just being able to record the memories and watch them properly in a nice environments mm -hmm. and really well done. And this is one of the main use cases. You'll be able to just rewatch and yeah. relive those memories uh, in a different way, and very seamlessly. So um, they seem the to know exactly what features that that they wanted to to harp on for sure yeah yeah what do we really finish this block this block on uh on on the apple vision pro again <laughs> we need to find quickly something else come on guys I, I, I uh, in space on apple vision pro yes or no it, it... what 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 somebody in space on vision pro yes or no mark we're doing it right we're doing it man we're doing it <laughs> mark come on look at his face He's not going to speak to me for a week now. He's like, show them. Okay, I read, I read from his face, yes. I mean, Unity-wise, we're there. We're, we, we, we updated the Unity to be compatible. Hey. Uh, but when we'll have... To, I mean, we're still like 20 people team. Huh. Yeah. So we need to prioritize. So first is PC VR releases soon. Uh, and then we will work on some other... First of all, we need to polish those things. And then we'll work on some other things. But eventually, yes, that we, I mean, we just, want to be there. Just saying, oh, first... Here, like, uh, Monday? First couple of lines of the blog post for Somnium Three they say <laughs> specifically that the uh, the Unity update. Yes, <laughs> that's was... the person who reads them. Yeah. Thank you, Connell. Right there, you got five euros discount on on wow. Somnium One. Boom. Wow. Ooh, let's go. Wow. That's more money than you can imagine. I'm, I'm Canadian. That's, so that's free like shipping. Millions of dollars. Well, that's, that's a shipping. million dollars exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Free yeah, shipping yeah. to Canadian. Yeah, but when it comes to Nintendo, Nintendo, I don't think there will be bring a VR device on the market because it's have to really cheap and then you have qu quality issues. But I can imagine that Nintendo will bring their games to Vision Pro later, possible. I think that would probably be an easier sell for, for Apple to want to do rather than uh, mm. Nintendo. Because one of the things with, uh, with the Apple Vision Pro is that they do actually say that you can game on it. It's just not vr or mixed reality gaming unless you implement depth into your 2d game for ios already but one of the things that they harped on a, a bit was that yeah it is compatible with apple arcade out of the box so you can pair a game controller with the vision pro just like an xbox controller. basically uh, a po games, po uh, pokemon mixed reality game for the yep. vision pro would be amazing and that's you can play also with hand tracking because yep. it's not a fast-paced game perfect yep. Stuff like that would be great. I mean, there's also ways that even even games that you think you'd need a controller for, you could probably do hand tracking based. You know, there's uh, quite a few things that not, implementations. Not, not a lot of games, to be clear, but if it's just like yeah. walking around in a game or something like that, um, and that's the biggest hurdle is no joystick. Well, people have just created ways of locomotion by pretending there's a joystick. And, and there's some games that, that need right? controller, but there's some games you can also play with hand yeah. tracking. And I think in the future, the hand tracking will be better. So mm -hmm. I'm more interested to see if, uh, since Vision Pro is based off of a heavily modified uh, iPad OS, well, newer versions of iPad OS allow developers, uh, of course, assuming that you uh, modify the device to allow this, but to write custom drivers for certain things in the OS. So you could create support for hardware that isn't supported out of the mm. box to over certain protocols. But Apple, the thing is, I don't think <laughs> Apple will like it. Easy. It's Apple. It's Apple. I don't think Apple like it. They really like to control environment. And so. that's why when you have drivers that are custom made, they are a huge pain to install. <laughs> but it is something that is supported on, on the OS level. So it just kind of makes me wonder um, if they did bring that to the Vision Pro, what would it allow you to create? Um, the, probably not a whole lot, but maybe you know, a game controller. The problem is the controller itself would have to probably be self-tracked, kind of like the um, the Meta Quest Pro controllers, I think they were, that were the yeah. self-tracked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is a very expensive endeavor to begin with, but then also trying to make it, you know, align itself with the, the Vision Pro. Is a, Personally, I love the Quest okay. Pro controller from Meta. I use it for the Quest 3. 
Mm -hmm. But the controller that came already with the Quest 3 are really, really great. So most people don't have to buy the Quest Pro. I've I was or only too. for I buy it for the science to to compare them how good they are. All right, yeah. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stop it there, chaps, because that's gonna be a lot of editing. But save all the, yeah. save all these oh. views for the next. We probably will do another one. So it'd be, it'd yeah. be nice to see where, where Steam Link is it. next and all this. The VR is going out. I want Mario Kart VR arcade version on the Vision Pro. Because... Mario Kart on the Vision Pro sounds like crazy fantasy for from 1985. There's, there's an arcade version in Japan. I know. I yeah, know I, know, I know. I know. I know. I read just the article, but I'm just I'm just saying like this. Just combining those two words together, phrases like <laughs> I want Mario Kart in Vision Pro it sounds like I'm going from that sounds like Nintendo's going to have a nice the past suit to, to complete future. Uh, okay, my battery is dying on the iPhone with the one I'm recording it with. So, Thank the you. universe just told us, shut up, people. Finish <laughs> this thing <laughs> and go home. Yeah. So, ramble. <laughs> um, yeah, it yeah, is. It is. We will, we will do it. We should probably do it once a month, Shota. Yeah, like, yeah, we should do like yeah. three guests and then four should be the, the community one. Maybe we can like, get all those guests three, we'll probably in here. Oh. Yeah, we'll get the guests in here. We'll just talk with everybody else and uh thank everybody for joining us mm -hmm. that was yeah, amazing was a lot of fun. um <laughs> and hopefully you will watch it later and uh do all the subscribes and liking you and i don't know whatever on your youtube channel sorry have you recorded on your youtube uh youtube channel or no we're it? we are we are professionals we're recording <laughs> it locally and then we're editing it so okay. for high quality you know uh okay. so high quality so yeah I that's it for that. today folks that was fantastic. Probably after sitting and talking, I need 15 minutes of Hyperdash. So, Marek, power up the Pico or Quest. We're going in right Whoa. away. Shoda, Artific, let's go. Guys, join us right now. We need like 15 minutes to play it. Let's do it right away while we're yeah, still here. Yeah. No excuses. <laughs> no excuses. Come on, guys. You want this podcast to be great? Though. Let's play some uh, some. He's Hyperdash. hungry. Get him a Mackey's. Mackey's? I don't... Yeah, there's no Mackey's here right now, so driving home let's go guys don't right. crash mate everybody don't crash for the great outro i'll do this <laughs> oh not again <laughs> I'm, I'm done i quit <laughs> all right bye bye, bye. bye. <laughs> let, the, let the chart off recording <laughs> right, that's only fine. joking but that's where it'll stop <laughs>